Hello everyone, uh, good to see you guys. Uh, let me just uh, make the music a bit more quiet because it's blowing my head off. Um, what's up guys? Uh, how are you feeling today? Uh, today I'm rocking the Queen Meve uh, shirt. That's the one who is the... Um, who's the, you know, the queen and the ruler of Lyria and Rivia from uh, Thronebreaker. Uh, if you didn't, uh, uh, if you didn't play it, uh, then I really encourage you to do. Yes, I actually see that my camera has like a problem with focus, uh, so we will uh, switch, I think, in a moment uh, to the different view, and hopefully, it will be a bit better. Um, yeah, maybe. Um, just let me, guys, actually um, maybe put a, um, a light slightly lower because it's just maybe that. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, my my camera's kind of a <laughs> camera's like first day in cyberpunk. Um, I don't know. Was it that grainy? Maybe it was. Maybe it was. Uh, guys, maybe that's justified. <laughs> um, okay, guys. Uh, you know what? Like before uh, before further ado, uh, is it 8 p.m. in Poland right now? Yes, it is because Poland is using CST time. So can kind of is. Uh, so guys, uh, we have like uh, lots of different things, uh, very bad lighting, that's really sad to hear actually because like my lighting was uh, very specifically prepared uh, for the stream uh, by me of course um, and it was all fine in the last few times, um, not really sure what's the, what's the deal here, uh, I won't do that then. I think that it has to stay like this and then I'll just experiment with it and try to uh, uh, you know, make it better. Yeah, I think now it's better. Okay, I think I know what it was. <laughs> I, know, I think I know what it was. Anyhow, uh, guys, so we actually have a bunch of things to do before we will uh, move on. So first of all, um, check your camera exposure and focus settings in the secondary menu, lol. Uh, thank you, Tyler. Uh, you are very helpful. Uh, I'll do that. Uh, just... Uh, for me, forgive me, but I won't do it right now because I'll be completely lost. Anyhow, uh, yes, and hello to YouTube, uh, exactly as always. Uh, guys, um, it's fantastic that you're uh, f uh, fantastic that you're here, hijack that convoy, uh, we will. But uh, first of all, uh, what we'll do, um, uh, we will, uh, I will just mention our uh, moderators uh, that, as w that are with us. Uh, of course, you know, we have uh, Sapphire, who's my girlfriend, and she's always helping us every, every um, week. And we have Ayano, Ayano's our UI producer, and she's streaming destiny too and you can check Ayana and my recommended streamers Ayana's with us every uh, week right now <laughs> looks it looks very 90s uh, cool thanks uh, was I was just actually really aiming for um, that uh, you know that that look uh, oh and do we have do we have miles here yes we do uh, so good, Miles, that you're with us. Uh, thank you so much. Miles is our senior level designer. Uh, so, guys, you probably know him. Miles also streaming. He's also in my recommended streamers. It's the re a relic malfunction. Yeah, uh, it might be the next level streaming. Uh, yeah, <laughs> exactly. And happy late birthday, Miles, by the way, because Miles had a birthday. Was it three days ago or two days ago? So, yeah. Uh, all the best to you, uh, Miles. Uh, uh, I saw that a lot of people actually uh, wish you a, a wonderful birthday. So um, take it from me, you know, and from all whole, uh, whole stream, Miles. So, guys, that being said, uh, because I don't don't think that we have more reds at this point uh, on the chat. At least I don't see them. And they will probably say hi as always. Uh, some of them are kind of late, uh, usually. So, guys, um, what we are going to do now? Well, we are going to look at the epic memes from the last week, right? Like this is basically uh, what we usually <laughs> what we we usually do in the stream. So. Let me just uh, show you something. So there was actually a bazillion memes uh, that I saw. I, you know, as always, I kind of skipped those that were like a bit offensive uh, for another people, unless it was a fun, um, at least it was a fun satire. So then I kept it, uh, of course. But I have actually a lot of memes uh, for you today. So first of all, uh, let's do the actual meme review. Uh, and oh, and we have Chivok. Chivok is our customer support specialist. Thank you so much, uh, Chivok, for being with us. Uh, here. Uh, Chivok's very often uh, visiting our stream. Uh, so, guys, let's go into the meme review. 
Uh, so first meme, <laughs> first meme that I saw is a classic, you know, Sasuke Sunday bingo. Apparently, this, those are the things that they always say. Uh, Miles, good that you're with us because, um, you know, uh, apparently I'm always saying that Miles left me a present. Uh, so here you go. Uh, I mean, I, I kind of do. Uh, I kind of say that pretty, pretty often. Uh, so uh, I will just make the music a bit more quiet. Uh, so, uh, apparently I say it quite often. So yes, uh, our My My Meme Review FF06B5. I don't know if, if the uh, if the members of that uh, team uh, of that sub, sub uh, Reddit are here, but you know, Team Juby and all that. Um, Sapphire is my girlfriend, you know, that's basically... Who's Sapphire? Sapphire is my girlfriend. <laughs> and our mod. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, that was... Um, Oh, see, see how we funnel the player. Uh, that's that's a good point. But you know that uh, I, I guess you know uh, the big go needs to be four by four. So you know <laughs> through the elimination process. Uh, let me throw a grenade. Exactly. Um, let's move to the second one. So this is what you were guys spamming actually, right? Uh, before we started, <laughs> before I before we started the stream, right? Like apparently this is a, this is we are reaching today the hundred death miles ton. Uh, so, you know, uh, it's good that Miles is going to be with us. Uh, I think that Camille Cesaro said that I'm in like, what, 90, 92 at this point. So that means that um, I'm only uh, eight away, right? <laughs> Imagine if you don't die at all this week. Well, I mean, we'll see, uh, Tyler. Uh, I'm not really... Uh, 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 91 is cursed. Uh, um, um, yeah, I mean, I remember when I tried to stay at 69 for like... As long as I could, and that and I literally died in ten seconds. <laughs> I'm not sure why I stumbled into here. It almost feels like a setup, Miles. Yeah, sort of. Um, oh, by the way, today I have my Punisher mug. It's actually funny, but I got the Punisher mug as a present of one of the viewers. It was sent to me uh, to our um, to our company office, and the security kept it. Uh, for me as 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 one of the things like I have more things to uh, to show you, but we'll see. Okay um, Guys, so that is that is it, but let's let's move on to the next one So uh, that that is also a fun one when I get the achievement as male V for completing Judy's quest line uh, But there wasn't a romance scene that I miss a page in a sex manual. So uh, well, you know <laughs> Anyway, uh, you know, I, I don't think you have missed the you have missed the the, the page. Uh, I I think simply, um, you know, you have, uh, uh, you know, Judy's, you know, not really into dudes uh, so much. Uh, you Tyler asked, can we do that? Can we do what? Um, sorry, it might be a bit out of context because I'm seeing it with a delay, right? So I'm like, hmm. I'm not sure what uh, you're referring to. Send the mails to the PR for you? Yes, you, you can, of course. Just send it to the company uh, building. Just do not send any bombs, okay? Please. Uh, just just send it uh, Just send it to the, to the, not to the company mail and, uh, and just title it for me. And I hope that the security will just keep it for me. You know, the music now is kind of quiet. Um, oh, because there's a close probing. I'll just make it a bit louder. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> no, no grenades. By the way, guys, speaking about grenades, um, look at this. You know what it is? It's not a grenade. It's actually a mug. Cheers. Mm, such a good. So that's actually another present that I got from one of the from one of the um, you know members of the community. You know, one of you guys have sent me this. You know. You know what was funny actually? That was sent from I think US and it basically I see that it went through the customs you know it was checked because that was like completely unpacked you know because I think that the customs get like um, on the border they get like suspicious hmm that's it that grenade is, is a bit uh, suspicious maybe we should take a look <laughs> So, uh, but anyway, that's, that's amazing. Uh, I know, you know, I know that the person that sent me that is here uh, today. So uh, thank you. Uh, thank you so much uh, for this. I, I, it's, you know, today I basically have the Punisher and the grenade mugs. So uh, it's going to be a very special stream. Okay, guys, let's move on to the next meme. So uh, you all got... <laughs> 
<laughs> so this is a this is a good take on the on the, on the classic uh, cl classic K uh, Karen uh, uh, meme. You know, I, I I think you know you guys know that we we actually do have a bit more. Uh, it's just you know. We, we need to make them, we need to finish everything, so and we need to make sure they are good, and they work well, and you know, all that stuff. So, anyhow, uh, so as soon as we'll be able to talk to you about the DLCs, we will. But, you know, I'm glad you guys like it. Um, <laughs> CDPR is never making more DLC ever again, uh, Tyler? Nah, actually we, we are doing some more, so... It shouldn't be that, it shouldn't be um, uh, that bad. Give me Barber, new quest DLC. I'm not commenting on any DLCs, uh, guys. Mm. What's the hardest part about working from home? Um, actually, just, just contact with people. You know, being away from people is just, just a bit harder, you know? And all the creative decision, uh, discussions and so on, it takes a bit more time. But like, me personally, I kind of like it have to admit uh it's good you can have like peace of mind and so on um so um is it true you had a picnic in the studio lately yes there was actually a lot of uh there was actually a lot of uh pictures and so on from the company picnic so yes we did actually it was very covid safe everybody got tested before so uh let's go to another meme okay <laughs> <laughs> that one, that one is really, that one is really good, actually. Uh, so, uh, it, it has like, it has like layers. So, let me re read it out to you. Ruthless company sniping boot camp. Uh, I, I think it's because like we, I, I have found that I have got the Overwatch from Pan Am. So that's why she has, uh, you know, that, that's why she has. Uh, <laughs> Uh, mm, uh, that, that's why I'm using it. So uh, th that's why this meme popped up. So um, attend your unique sniping bootcamp hosted by a former special forces allied snipers trained in the ruthless way. Learn from the pros uh, why crotch shots are better than headshots. <laughs> that's actually true. I, 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 I did some crotch shots. And, but, I mean, you know, like some people had to be uh, had to be punished, you know. Um, <laughs> Pavo is more like a Baldwell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sort of. Uh, there's a comment from Miles. Uh, Lol, you look like a Danish Markevich uh, for a second. Yeah, it's actually funny, but but like that Danish looks very similar, you know, because he has a beard and is bald. So uh, it was actually funny. Um, how to shoot your uh, how to shoot enemy grenades before they throw them? Uh, why you always double tap when the enemy's on the ground? <laughs> Uh, lead instructor for mayor uh, GF Commandos of Captain Pavel Eagle Eye Sasko. Yeah, exactly. So uh, that's it. Uh, yeah, or like Kane from uh, Command and Canker. Exactly, Miles. Um, I used to be afraid of my own shadow. Now I'm taking names and kicking ass. <laughs> former, former attendee. Uh, exactly. Sasko DLC. Uh, you know, uh, we'll see, we'll see. Okay, guys, let's jump in. Another meme, uh, I like this one. It's a, it's a very popular format. I actually think it's a it's a Sandra Dorset, right? Uh, like, that's uh, that's the character. So, uh, pretty interesting one, you know, like, uh, male V being more into Pan Am than, the, than Sandra Dorset. I mean, I'm glad you guys, uh, I, I'm glad you guys like the, uh, you know, Sandra. Um... Okay, um, <laughs> there is no another woman uh, in the world better than Pan Am of, you know, I mean, you know, the, the, the only, I guess the only better woman uh, than Pan Am is a real one, you know, uh, I, I think it's the, <laughs> I think it's the answer, you know, <laughs> so yeah, um, okay, let's move on, um, oh yes, so, <laughs> so that's a, uh, that's actually the boss, right? So uh, guess who's not a fan of Patch 1.3? So uh, I think Kazuliski, who's, uh, who's uh, uh, I think who who is on the chat uh, today as well, uh, he has like recorded this video of like Nibbles reacting to uh, a um, uh, Nibbles reacting to a shower. Basically, when when you when you find him under the shower, the way he escapes and so on. So I was actually pretty. That was actually uh, pretty. <laughs> Pretty fun. So uh, yeah, that was Ero actually who made this uh, small thing with like uh, Nibbles uh, escaping. Um, um, Faban Fabanzer asked, "Hey Pavo, quick question: Are you still working on Cyberpunk or another project, or you can't answer that?" I can tell you that I'm working on everything that the company is pretty much doing right now. <laughs> so yeah, so that includes a lot of different stuff. This is what I can tell you. 
Um, and I'm definitely working on Cyberpunk. On DLCs, patches, and expansions, guys. Okay, let's move on to the another meme. Uh, oh yeah, that's the that's a really really famous meme with Kerry Urodine. Uh, actually, like we never really talked about that meme. I'm really glad actually that the, that you know some of you liked Kerry Urodine. Uh, you know he is one of the characters that I designed a storyline uh, for, um, and like the opening quests up to the point of uh, like a supreme and playing concert. Uh, actually, with Kerry, that's something that um, I have designed um, and implemented like uh, together with Michał Brzeźniak, who is the uh, um, who, who is the cinematic designer um, on that uh, quest. Uh, let me just make the music slightly more quiet because it's just blasting a bit too hard. Uh, Supreme Shrimp, please tell Cyber uh, CDPR we need more clothes, more extreme clothes. Game is too strict uh, currently. Um, yeah, we, we heard community uh, speaking about it. Like, uh, we, we, we know about the problem. We definitely know about the issue. Um, a formal adagio said uh, to me, to me, to Miles, and to Ayano. Just wanted to say thank you guys and the entire team putting so much effort into showing uh, so many facets of the world, uh, from a cellular killer hunting to kids, uh, video games. Overall, I think the game does a great job of showing us what life in Night City looks like. Uh, thank you so much. That was that was our intention, basically. Um, to just like show you as many different, I would say, colors as you can do. Uh, what do you think about mod modders joining this, the team currently? I fucking love that, man. I absolutely love this. Like, I, I will restrain myself from like commenting a bit more and, and telling you, you know, until we say more about like, you know, um, maybe what modders will be working on and what they will be doing. But it, it's, I absolutely love that. Like, um, actually members of my team and me myself, I'm in a close contact with them. Uh, so yeah. It's, uh, it's dope. It's dope. Oh, you're making a video about modders joining? Tyler, that's awesome. Um, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. We, we really want to, like, support our modding community. Like, we've been doing that since, like, Witcher 2 uh, fairly regularly. And, um, you know, I, I know it hasn't been ideal ever because, like, you know, to, to just, like, offer complete, like, modding tools for, for people is just a lot of work. Uh, but that has been on our radar. Uh, for a lot of time, for a long time, for like a lot of, um, you know, our games. Um, okay, um, okay, I, I just, uh, I, I just want to, uh, I just want to uh, move on through the, through the memes, because there's more and more questions. Oh, yeah, the, the Mai Mai meme, so Fast and Furious 77, thirsty for blood, the revenge of the Mai Mai. Yeah, that's the, that's the one car that I was using, like, um, uh, that that's the one car I was using last uh, last stream. Uh, can we play the Voodoo Boys questline today? No, I don't think so. Um, I, I think I will be playing the Panam today. We we just I, I don't think we'll manage to squeeze in so much. Uh, but you know it will happen. Uh, Alicia, uh, Tyler, what will it take for you to stream my mod list? I mean, not much, I guess. You know, like I I, I think Tyler, if you like prepare it in a way that it's just um. Something that I can show, why not? You know, why not? Uh, I, I'm just, you know, like, you know that I'm watching your videos and it's just like, and I'm watching your stream as well. Uh, so it's not something like, you know, why not, man? Uh, uh, okay then, uh, uh, the, the, my, by having my my out of the way, um, uh, another one, oh yeah. <laughs> so that's the that's the one actually from the Kerry Urodine again, you know, like that's actually from um like a Supreme. We will uh, we will play it together on the stream, but I just I just love this uh, the fact that you know like you guys like got into it. Like I remember watching like some streamers playing and they were actually like, you know, headbagging and so on. It was so cool. Um it was so cool to see. Uh you know, like uh, I, I think the um Mihaus Brzeźniak who who was behind a lot of like uh, you know uh, 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 a bit of like design work and implementation work uh, of that of that scene in the quest line with me he put a lot of effort into this so uh, I I think Miha would also uh, appreciate that okay let's move on to the <laughs> to the next one okay the next one is actually uh, is another edition of gaming world perception matrix so in the in the last stream I actually showed you guys the meme with like uh, with just like <laughs> what people like think in the gaming industry it's actually really interesting you know because like 
uh, it, there's like so much truth uh, in this, you know, it always the coolest. They're like, look, you can see like how gameplay, you know, sees themselves, let's say, or like how engineer engineering sees, uh, sees themselves, you know, or like QA uh, as well, you know, animations, of course, nothing short but Pixar, uh, obviously, <laughs> but you know, and, and the visual arts and so on, but then you have the project managers, you know, the probably the most, uh, how to say it, um, difficult part of the job. Uh, <laughs> Ayala wrote project management is not that brutal dog, come on. Yeah, I mean, you know, Ayala knows something, right? Because she's a producer, so like, um, just the work of a, of a project management and, 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 you know, manager in general is something that Ayala's doing. That's part of my work too. It's not that brutal, but it's definitely not easy, I would say. It's definitely not easy. Um... Okay, uh, guys, I, I hope you like this Bibu. We'll move on to the next one. I just see one cool uh, question. As a quiz designer, what does your typical workday look like since Cyberpunk uh, release? Do you help fixing bugs or work whatever expansions, DLCs are in production? I mean, I pretty much mentioned that. Like, as a designer, as a lead of the of the quest uh, design team, what I do, I work on the uh, patches for you guys. I worked on the DLC for you guys. And I work on the uh, expansion. Uh, for you guys and you know as a lead um i also work on some other things uh some other projects um that we have mentioned on our um financial call you know um investors call so uh basically that's the that's the situation you know so it, it just really depends, you know, what milestone is like coming in at the given time. So like I, I in a way with my team switch focus, you know, but those are all the things that we are uh, working on and try to, you know, juggle uh, those topics. Uh, so let's guys go to the other meme. Okay, that's another meme that I think Pablo uh, submitted. Uh, so that's just... Uh, and that is that is, uh, that is interesting. Like I didn't really know that I'm making so many faces. It's... Uh, you know, uh, it's it's interesting. Like, uh, <laughs> so I recognize some of that moments also from my hairstyle, I guess. Uh, you know, so you know, those are the, those are those are my, um, those are my my memes. So I, I don't know. I, I'm I guess I'm just like uh, each Pavel. You know, uh, every stream. I, I think there's probably even more. But yeah, um, three all day. Oh, three. Why three? God damn it! Three is the sad Pavo, isn't it? Like, two, like the second one is not bad Pavo, I guess. Um, the the six is like holy shit, Pavo, who who just saw a bug, uh, I guess. You know. <laughs> so yeah, I go with eight. Eight is is a Pavo that is like attempting to explain something but is failing. You know. So that's pretty much how I look like. Seven is the Pavo that like uh, uh, die dies. You know, oh, five is, is <laughs> five armpit pavos. I mean, this is not that bad. Come on, it's not that much of, a, of an armpit pavo. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, cool, cool. Uh, that's actually awesome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, actually, Pablo, Pablo, that, that, uh, that <laughs> meme is fucking cool. I like that. Um, it's actually pretty old because I, I've seen that meme some time ago. Uh, first time, but I saw Pablo like posted it on my Twitter today. I was like, okay, okay, I'll just, I can I can grab this one. Um, so <laughs> number five, chilling and vib vibing. Yeah, uh, maybe, maybe. Um, okay, uh, guys, let's move on. We have one last meme. Okay, yes, that's <laughs> that's a meme, meme basically about my my uh, playstyle. That's definitely me about my step, my playstyle, uh, guys. I I can I can uh, officially confirm uh, that this is uh, that's the way I'm playing. You know, uh, that's but that's my amazing, uh, that's my amazing build. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much how it looks like. So uh, now now guys, uh, I will slowly switch now to the uh, to the game. Uh, the game is actually already starting uh, under. Um, so I'll just mute the music so it doesn't like blast under the uh, under the game playing. Uh, and uh, let me just switch to this for a second, uh, and I'll just uh, get the get the game running. Uh, it's missing Pavel who sees something cool and exciting, which is like a mix between number eight and number five and number seven. Mm, okay, cool. I, I'm, 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 I'm probably like mixing all of them. 
pretty well. <laughs> so uh, you gotta appreciate good, uh, good, good uh, stealth grenade build. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, guys, loading the game now. Uh, Jesus, I need to check if I have some e more illegal shit in my in my build. Uh, just give me a second, because I'm, I'm I always have some illegal stuff in my like game uh, that I'm that I'm play that I'm playing with you guys. So just want to make sure. Uh, the, the, hey, nothing hey, pop, the, nothing bad fun. pops pops up. Uh, no. Well, rather the, the bad, rather like illegal. Yes, I'll actually check out the settings. That's very good. That's actually that's actually very good point. Uh, just to make sure. But anyway, guys, we're playing on very hard, right? We're playing on very hard. Uh, yeah. That's that's pretty much the situation uh, right now. Let me just check. Okay, uh, I will just uh, switch to the switch to the game. Uh, so let me just really quickly see if there's no illegal stuff <laughs> going on. I think there's none. Yep, we are in the game, guys. Uh, so good, so good to be back. So good. Uh, your shirt, can I see it? I mentioned that that's the Meve shirt, you know, from the Thronebreaker. Uh, Meve is the ruler of Lyria and Rivia. By the way, if you didn't play the Thronebreaker, I really encourage you to do it. You know, and drink water, guys. And let's do it! Mm, uh, let's do it. Um, why not post a high-quality version of commercials and TV shows on YouTube? I know they are in low quality, reduced size of the game and not consume much performance. Yes, that's correct, actually. Like, they are, of course, you know, scaled and optimized uh, to be used uh, in the game, obviously. Jesus, like, on the maxed out settings, this looks so fucking good. And why those are not posted? Actually, I really don't know. You know, that's really not my call, actually. Um, as, as you know, I'm just a, you know, a quest designer. So, yes, I think we talked about Carol before, so I think we have to talk to um, Cassidy. Hello, bro. What is drinking, guys? Uh, I hope it's healthy, Cassidy. Um, what you going? What you going? What are you two doing? I'm finding my inner peace before the storm. Mm. While Teddy is just being dead weight. <laughs> He's finding his inner peace. Cassidy's so cool. Yeah, I, I know that there's a lot of people uh, that, that really like him. I'm so glad, you know. You know, one of the things uh, that I really that we really wanted to do with this game is like give you like a very like varied cast of characters. And I don't know if you have realized that, but like um, in Cyberpunk, you also have like a cast of much older characters than uh, you uh, would have than we had normally, let's say, in The Witcher 3 uh, as well, because we also like support different body types for characters, but also like different r r ranges of voice, uh, you know, so we have like employed much more varied cast of the of the actors, you know, to play the lines and so on. So this is um, something that I think like brought a lot of variety uh, for the game. So yeah. Mm. Happy to join you in the quest. Look, anything goes south. Panam will be the one to pay. Oh God, I can be such an asshole. Um, happy to join you in your in your quest. To join you. Respect your efforts. This game even make me love and bound with vending machine Once lol. <laughs> Rip Brandon also out. also his voice acting is Connor from Detroit. Become human in is plus. Yeah, I, I know that. Like. Um, I can actually, guys, tell you uh, something about the the, uh, the 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 Brendan. So basically, with Brendan, it was like that. That basically, uh, when we were working on, you know, together with like influencers and so on, to find like a really good spots for them in the game and so on. And I had this idea. Okay, what will happen actually if we will make this twist and make the Brendan, you know, make Connor who used to play the, you know. Uh, um, who was playing a, a cyborg in Detroit actual vending machine, you know, I thought that would be like a good wink, you know, to the players. Um, so that's basically how it came to be. You know, we were like, holy shit, you know, it's such a cool quest, you know, for this guy because he can bring up like an additional depth. So that's why, you know, he was assigned like same goes for actually Jesse Cox, right? Who plays the flaming crotch man. Uh, so yeah. Hmm. Once you've once you have both, you have real power. Always philosophical when you Drinking drink. Always breathe deep thoughts. 
I just feel like people expect some motivational bullshit from me. <laughs> uh, anything happens, you do have fun then. Have fun, kids. Have fun, kids. Uh, Camille Root, please visit Desert Film set today to take the car. Yeah, we'll see, we'll see. Um, maybe I will. Maybe I will. I mean, it, was de it won't be definitely lost, so don't worry about this. Uh, it still s tells me to talk to nomads. I'm actually not sure, because wait, we talked to um, Carol. We talked to those two just a second ago. I think I can also poke Panem. Oh, hello. What you fixing? How's the cable looking, Panem? Tell me. Need a hand? Of course. But in your shoes, I would look for another way in first. Okay. Mm. Okay. Thanks, Panam. Thanks. Hmm. Where's Mitch, though? Because we talked to Carol, all right. We talked to Cassidy. We talked to our dead weight. <laughs> One. Hmm. Uh, is he like peeing somewhere here in the bushes, guys? Is he? I think so, probably. Sad nomad stop noises. By the way, like the way this whole background sounds, you know, guys? Can you hear it? Like when you run here. And those like subtle, you know, um, ambient noises and so on of the place. It's so cool. And you can hear the cicadas. Like uh, last time we had the discussion. Go left, guys. You tell me go left. Is that the left for you? So Pavel Sasko is working The Witcher 5. What? <laughs> The other left. Oh, thank you so much. You guys are so fucking useful and so helpful. You little trolls. You little trolls. Um, I, I actually love double jump. Um, he's right. He's left. Uh, oh, he's right that you guys are trolls? Yes, I am. Uh, or he's right that he's on the right side. Left to Panam, but hair left or my left? Okay, it's the same left. Well, it's ah, oh, of course, yes, I remember now. Pull it off. Saul will be pissed. Oh, hello, boys. See his face already. Hmm. Fixing some uh, machinery. Okay. V. Do you need a hand, by the way? Remember when we first met? We did it. And yes, we did. <laughs> Twitch played CP77. In a way, in a way. It's always pride. the same. Now you guys always confuse me. Plane. Because because of the lag, you say, like, go left. And I'm like, uh, I turned, like, I seven times still that time. Right. Hmm. Okay, so how is it going, going boys? Fantastic. We have everything hooked up. And nothing works. <laughs> no, not reliably. B, could you scan it? Because I am not open to the prospect of taking it all apart again. Mmm. Okay. Monsters damaged. Third from the right. Uh huh. They hmm. need a. Uh, they need the help B. of my Kiroshi. Hold on. Let me swap it out. He has a cool cable, by the way. Time to try it again. Hey, it works. Yeah. Thanks, V. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, we talked to the nomads, but I'm not sure if do they have more to add. But it uh, seems they don't. Uh, and it's still not succeeded. Um, yeah, okay, guys. I think we are getting... Uh, I think that we are going in. Uh, there's a question why Panam, there's nothing... The, the, she has no cyberware that is being shown. Uh, that was just a creative decision. To, you know, to make her distinct and different, you know. Why did the patch 1.3 take so long to come out? I mean, did you check the patch notes? Did you see what's inside it? I, I think that sort of answers your question. Does it? Doesn't it?
Okay. Um, let's go. Can I, can I force open? Oh, I can actually. Hmm. Yeah, there's one way in, but I think there's even more ways in, right? Uh, to get there. Aha! Uh Aha! Some suspicious entrance! Who would have fought? How did you weasel your way in there? And here I opened the damned door. Be right there. <laughs> Thanks, Panam. I am, um, you know, I'm sneaky. Oh, hello. I've always been fond of trains. Oh, yeah? And the stations where so many tracks converge. Hmm. Junctions. Yes, those. When you see them from above, you feel free. Like you could set off on a thousand journeys all at once. Mm. Perhaps more simply, hopeful. Yeah, you can see she's so much into... She's so much into the train. Okay, here we are. Carol! Uh -huh. What are we looking for? Carol! What cards? All blood cards, holes in rows and columns. Okay. Would you help me look? Ha! Sure guys, thing. so we it looks. It seems we need to get the punch cards. Hmm. Okay. Ha, huh, there's some clue here. Let me just check that short then. I like trains. Hmm. Cool. Uh, I'm glad you do. Ural Technical Locomotive Technical Specifications Cargo Locomotive Manufacturer Ural, Ural Combinat Model AM773 Tage Tear Weight 200 tons Jesus, that's fucking heavy Reactor Count 2 Power 12 550 kilowatts Max Speed 700 uh, 70 miles per hour Brake Okay, I guess that's the type Data transfer module OTCC Lima. Cool. We uh, just learned something more about the trains, guys. Um, okay, here. It must be here somewhere. Yeah, I see that hey, there's a bunch of things thoroughly, to get. Please. Um, actually here. Uh, let me oh, check that file cabinet. Nada. Nada. Documents and arrival notes. Search successful. Okay. Hmm. Welcome aboard. Congratulations, you have just joined one of the 12 proud Corp Bud locations. With your help, we'll rebuild what the war left in rubble. With every bat of seven ship, with every train car spent out, we are one step closer to reaching our goal. What's more? With the only Blanche location with our own train car wash, that's right. You can even use to clean your own vehicle. For your comfort and safety, we offer a complete sports and entertainment package, as well as g rape detox, a relaxation program. Note, for your own safety, please wear protective gear all the times while working. Corpidi is not responsible for improper use of workplace equipment or in a adverse health effects that may result thereof, including but not limited to blood poisoning, toxic shock, or insurance of cyber psychosis due to overuse of G-Rapid program. Uh, right. <laughs> that was actually fucking nice. Uh, anyhow, guys, I'm really so much into lore nowadays. Corp BD <laughs> recruitment wants to know your location. <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, it's so, it's so, uh, I, I love that reference, by the way, um, I love that reference. My mom just show up to check if everything is alright after hearing Pablo's voice. <laughs> uh, greet your mom, Camille. See, uh, tell her, tell, tell, please, that Pavo is not fine, but that's Nothing just here. the same as always. Um, oh, cool, we found a hand fan. Uh, interesting place to have a fan in a spot like that, but you know what? I mean, uh, I take it. Hmm. What you looking on, Panam? All this paper. Cool. Okay. Hmm. Frag grenade. Excellent. I was just worried that my, I may have to little shard document. Search failed. Hmm. 
bounce back MK1. Good. Oh. He oh, hello. Punch cards. Instructions. Hmm. Do you plan to make New Game Plus for Cyberpunk 2077? I cannot really talk about our plans, my friend. Each position of the card, punched, unpunched, corresponds to a unit of information, while each column represents one character or symbol. When gently inserting the card into reader, please remember to do the following. Check off any damaged punched holes which may corrupt the reading. Make sure cards are inserted in a proper order. Double check the card's description matches the data encoded on it. It's such a cool thing, though, um, that the designers are working on it. Uh, I'm, and I'm here, uh, uh, like, Boże Augustinek, I think, was the Some person. Sort of Age decided to go into, like, an old-type punch cards. Huh, locomotive controls, a type of control in which the output of the controller is the set point of, for another. A recompilation required. Interesting. Wow, look at that bloom. Nice. Look at that uh, reflections. That RTX uh, is just in a full display here. Uh, guys. Um, okay. Um, condoms! Wow. So much for family-friendly stream, though. Anyway, um, let's, uh, let's move on. <laughs> let's move on. So, what do we have? Mmm. Scar documents. Oh, oh, I guess this is this one, actually. Not a... Ah, that's also not it. That's also not it. Pathology of the Badlands. They're talking about pathology. There might be something for us, guys. This is a really long one. Did you guys want to read it? Hmm. Hmm. We'll, we'll keep this one for next time. And uh, we'll just move forward. Okay. Let's check the computer. My parents are listening, Pavo. Um, <laughs> um, uh, yes, uh, yeah, cool. Um, uh, greet, greet, greet mom and dad. Uh, <laughs> Sapphire, by the way. <laughs> Revolver Vosolotza, what do you think about game dev creating a lot of female characters that look like supermodels? And when the idea of creating a different looking heroine comes up, players try to fix it like Aloy did. In my opinion, we need a variety of looking characters in games, just uh, not just mega handsome guys and perfect women. Yep, I absolutely agree with you. Um, like, I mean, we are, like, uh, I think we, as a studio, we kind of feel very very similar the way you described like um you know when when you're looking at the cyberpunk we try to really like provide uh, uh characters that are important you know story related characters that are not only beautiful and not only have a perfect bodies um uh, and that sometimes that sometimes is difficult to do also because of the uh, limitations of the side of animations and you know I, I know it might sound stupid but look at the like you know um, body types for like men and female let's say the average ones like when you have like let's say a bigger you know so somebody who's like taller and stronger and so on retargeting the animation from that kind of skeleton is kind of simpler but when you have somebody who's just let's say uh, you know shorter or a bit more obese or any or basically different in any kind of directions you just need to give that character a completely custom treatment and this is something that we very often do uh, but it needs to be very specific it needs to be specifically prepared uh, and also not all the animations rook rook uh, really well when they are retargeted right so you just need to pay attention uh, to it as a uh, creator and of course you know it's just it's always a matter of focus right in in cyberpunk there's like ton of characters that have different body types than just the average i would say model kind of slim looking one um uh okay um let's uh, da -da -da, let's just check on those emails ermo you really leaving how come i'm the last to hear that Oh, right, right, right. So those are messages from here. Kat McCree and Irmog are talking. Yep, I'm leaving. I wasn't sure to tell you. I'm sorry you found out this way. I got a friend with the Red Willow Clan. He will put a good word for me. Irmog, the nomad? Come on. You always said nomads were a bunch of dirty, stinking, back 
backcountry hex cat they're shutting the place down we stay they will send us somewhere even worse so if gonna hit the road rather decide for myself which road i take yeah sure you'll have to say but i bet you'll be head of a clan in no time leave my stuff on desk before you go oh god okay so you can see basically here a bit of background information regarding like what has happened in the past um was there even plans to save uh, Eevee or Scorpion? Oof, Tyler, I honestly don't know in this case. I don't think so, but it, I, I cannot tell you 100%, because, like, maybe designers who worked on it assumed that that would be a possibility, but I don't know about uh, anything about it. So, um, if, if there were plans, I, I don't think that we have ever did anything um, with that. So, I, I think the most likely answer is no. Hi, Papa, what we want to know is possible to the, uh, uh, for the hair artist of Judy to upload to ArtStation the face and her model of her. We have all models like Panam or Goro, but no Judy. Uh, oh, but oh, but you're talking to the ArtStation regarding like uh, how the character looks like. I, I can actually check uh, with them. You know, uh, like I suspect that, you know, they were just, they are just, uh, they're just basically picking like uh, the, you know, the models that, um, they feel i would say ownership over like maybe you know there was a bit more artists that contributed to the judy character together and that's the reason i can ask uh but i cannot promise that they will do it but i can definitely ask uh okay mm, closing the factory in branch number 12 at the station the factory and branch office located at the station will be officially closed at the end of the month all sections of track used for transport and logistics will be cut off from the main traction system. On the final day of operation, all employees will be required to return any company equipment as well as their building access cards. Hmm. This is Jim from the Station Control Tower. I'm not sure if anyone will read this, considering we are shutting it all down. But what about the, in the engine we got here? I get the trucks, but the engine, someone should probably take care of it, right? Pretty sure it's an environmental hazard. Oh, the engine will be removed in accordance with all applicable safety guidelines. Okay, well, we got to... I always use uh, escape instead of C uh, here uh, on keyboard. Um, okay, guys, let's actually take a look because there are some shards laying here, which is cool. Um... Okay. New threat level high alert. With regard to the net crash, we are pleased to inform you that communications have been restored and we are adjusting the threat level rating from crisis response T4 to high alert T3. Just uh, sounds like a COVID levels, uh, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a COVID levels. Uh, all employees shall report for an individual meeting at 8 a.m. tomorrow in Hall E. The meeting will cover new operational procedures for the factory as well as new technology to be introduced. Attendees is mandatory. At uh, threat level midnight. <laughs> What uh, what were your reasons for showing Jackie's death in the E3 trailer? Oof, I wasn't like uh, too much in the discussions regarding that specific topic, so I cannot really offer much more uh, much more information here. Um, to be honest, uh, with that specific topic. No much for the thick skin. I think that we saw it already. Uh, spoilers, fucking spoilers. Yeah, I know. Cardboard box. Not a... Okay, not some booster. Okay, Euro dollars. Components. They have a lot of stuff here. Hmm. hmm. Oh, look at that, guys. Did we just find it? Brother, did you play Psychonauts 2 yet? I have started. I played like four... Uh, Four hours at this point. Didn't have much time really to play forward oh, because I'm working for stuff for you guys. Um, but I I will definitely finish the game. Uh, I really like it. Uh, I'm just moving slowly, you know. I, I usually like play the games pretty slow because I want to like taste it. You know what I mean? Like I really want to like 
see how the guy, uh, how the, uh, how they, um, you know, how it's made and so on. Oh, I can talk to Panam from here. Got something. Good job. Yeah. Actually, Girl, that's smart to play slowly. Have a card. Yeah, I what always now? play slowly. You have to put it in the reader. Well, okay. The card in the reader. <laughs> it's so funny, you know, uh, the way she like repeats those lines. Like, okay, in the reader. Will it be possible to future to transfer save games from PC to console and inversely? Damn it, I have no idea. You know, guys, uh, I mean, you know, I, I know that I'm answering like bazillion different questions that the guy ask uh, that the guys asks, but oh, honestly, I, I, I just cannot tell you. Like, I don't know. Okay, let's put in that punch card. Oof. Okay. It worked. Come look. I am looking, Pan. I'm I'm coming. Little engine that could. Oh look at that. <laughs> Little engine that could. You troll, Johnny. V, I wanted to speak with you. Okay. Speak with me. The URL combinat train is moving. I'm coming. Oh, you mean it's you, you, you Taylor, oh, Tyler, in that, um, in that train coming? Uh, <laughs> okay, um, Nomad, stand by the window. Let's uh, use our uh, Nomad line. Seems happier here than you did in town. Hmm. You're happier out here. Can smell it a mile off. Surely you joke. I'm about to put my family at risk. Get a dressing down from Saul and possibly be kicked out of the family. And you say I seem happy? Yeah. Oh, I'm honest with you. Because you're doing what you think's right for the Aldecaldos. Even though it's hard. Even though you're shitting your pants. Dear God, so you can see it too. Hmm. Do you have ray tracing on? I, I hope so. <laughs> we checked before the stream, so I believe so. Like, looking at the lights there and so and so on, I think so. Looking at here, it looks like it. Okay, what do you want to talk about, Pan? I'm tell me. I know this may sound foolish, because I asked you to help me. But... Why are you doing this? Okay, guys, serious moment with Pan Am, you know? Do you have ray tracing on Psycho, though? Yes, I do, I think. Yes, I do. I will I will check it, though. I will check it, you all uh, Psycho fans. Uh, what trust issues again? No doing it for free. Knowing it's important to you, right? We go into friendship? I don't know. Or trolling. Ugh, trust <laughs> issues again. Thought we talked it all out. Hey, I know I can count on you. I'm, I'm just, I'm just, you know, all honest, harsh, no one has uh, ever done friendly, like this from you, you know. Not without a catch. Mm. Meaning nobody from outside the family. Yes, we could both stand to think about what that means. Hmm. All right, let's rejoin the others. The scene is so ma amazing. I love it. Yeah, it's just like those those scenes, like those uh, simple, small interactions with characters. You know, the fact that you, as a uh, yeah outsider no more, uh, you as a as a player, you can just stand with the character and just talk about life like topics this is like so rare like it's rare even in the movies sometimes you know that in general are just a bit more mature or um, you know as a uh, in contrary to the games and still you know it just makes such an amazing impression you know that moment when you have that you know moment of just this third tenderness and closeness you know you remember guys when we played and that um uh, when we played the uh, um together you know and and talking when we were talking with panam and she put her legs on our like knees and so on i was that was really awesome you know that moment of closeness a <laughs> break ural anal combinat no it's a it's a family friendly stream so uh you know 
we are we are not talking about um, uh, t topics like this. Uh, <laughs> anyway, um, uh, uh, Wittermunt, Wittermuted wrote, "Do you think uh, how V Panam Judy should react if they somehow?" Oh wait, wait, wait. What do you think how V Johnny Panam and Judy would react if they would get somehow to Sapkowski's world? Ha! <laughs> Interesting. I think they would be surprised, you know, by how honest and um, and simple life was. <laughs> I guess, you know, I would. Uh, this is probably what would happen, and like not threatening. Convoy. Got eyes and ears on it. Yes. yes. Carol, Carol checks their communication channels from time to time. Everything is proceeding as planned. For now. It's actually a really interesting, like transhumanist topic, you know, they, like the fact that, um, you know, technology comes into our lives and it like changes so much and impacts so much, and our life is really, really much different. Like, imagine, you know, what happened, or like, look what happened after introduction of social media. Look what happened after the introduction of cell phones, you know, in our lives. Like, everything is so much different. Um, and Come on. the thing is, oh, soul wrote to me. Um, and it's it's a really interesting thing, you know, the fact that, uh, you know, Judy Panam or whoever would actually land in Sapkowski's world without that, right? Uh, just the world is so much different. Has CDPR confirmed directly that the world Siri was, uh, Siri was uh, in Night City? <laughs> no, we didn't. Like, we didn't say anything. Uh, no, we are telling him that I'm not her babysitter, right? We are playing tough. We're playing tough. Not sure if you will. Oh, okay. For crying out loud, I don't care what's going on between you two. I'm just asking. Can you give me a straight answer? When you see her, tell her I'm looking for her. Okay. We just uh, we just uh, lied to him. Well, I mean, I said I'm not the babysitter, technically speaking. So uh, I'm not. Uh, right, right, guys. Uh, Chain Dog wrote, I thought this mission didn't have enough calm, but I kept expecting the situation to escalate after ambushing Militech, but nothing happened. It was a clear, it was a clean gateway. Yeah, I mean, sometimes, you know, when we're designing things, we actually do that kind of stuff uh, on purpose to sort of like surprise the player and make sure that you, uh, as a player, you don't really know exactly what will happen and when and how. So, oh, by the way, guys, again, same situation, you know. I'm not going to mention what happened here, but it's very, very clear. It's very, very clear. Very, very clear. We talked about okay. it on the previous stream, I think. Yes, Pan, I'm coming. Uh, let me just loot that chest. Uh, and, and then I'm with you. Um, <laughs> best scene incoming? Yeah, in a way. Uh, Revolver Salota. It's just me or the scenes of talking about relationships and love so games are too short. I'm always sorry when the character finally says, we'll talk about it later, now it's not the time. Yeah, I get you, I get you. It's I, I think it's the, um you know, effort on the side of the game developers to balance actually better, you know, players fairly short attention with uh, attention span um, with uh, mature topics, you know, it's just not that easy. Because, like, to do that kind of topics well, you really need to invest time and energy and budget into making it well, you know, and those things cost a lot, you know. That's why, like, for instance, you know, for me, I, I'm really proud of the fact that a lot of, uh, that a lot of the, um, you know, uh, romance scenes in, in, like, Cyberpunk, all of them are actually optional content. That as a player, you don't have to play because if you're not interested in that kind of content, you don't have to do it, right? Um, so that's the way how we are as a game developer trying to. Three. Everything's under control. The convoy is already heading our way. So yeah, this is the way how we as a game developers are trying to balance this. Okay, so you guys ready? You guys ready? Could you share some of your crazy notes from The Witcher 3 or Cyberpunk? Oh, what? but what crazy notes do you mean, um, uh, Tyler? Can you, like, what do you mean by crazy notes? You mean, like, from my from my notebook? 
or what? Hurry up and wait. What about soul? Psychopath notes. Yes, uh, uh, that, that's definitely that's Worry definitely what, what Tyler meant. The, the psychopath notes. Yeah. Yeah. And here you have it, like another another well, scene. You know. As if you're the first person ever to stand up to Saul. Ah, save like your this. breath. I don't need to be consoled. And you can hear this like I know. close, simple. Hey, Scorpion. You came home from the war, head full of new ideas and a host of new contexts. He tried to get Saul to lead us in joining Snake Nation. It would make us stronger, he said. Yeah. I don't think he peeped a word of it to me. What did Saul do? Yeah. That so kind of scenes are like so difficult to do because you just have to like constantly Hell, make all the characters react and you Gee. know. Really Even through like looking or like mimics, you know. You said yourself you didn't need any. Okay, guys. Um, so what are we drinking, the Scorpion? <laughs> Scorpion wanted to join uh, Snake Nation. Ah, uh, Nomad rules. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's drink the Scorpion, guys. How to raise a glass to Scorpion? The scorpion and a jackie oh wow and it's so cool you know do you guys do you guys remember that she has asked me you know about her friend and i told her that and that's why she just mentioned jackie now because she knows about jackie okay guys uh let's let's go with our um Saul snake nation right line about snake nation you should remain independent Otherwise, could end up like... Like the backers. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll manage just fine and it's also because own. this is this is my All nomadic background, so that's why the backers uh, sound like Get matter more. Talking about the Alde Caldos again. And that's why we're here today. Huh. Scorpion would be proud. This is so cool, you know? And you can see that they are doing this because they're believing in a cause. You know, even though they are actually going against what Saul. Yeah. About the notes, do you have this cool handwriting which only doctors can read, or was it all crossed out? No, I actually have a very clean and very simple and, and kind of a clear, you know, style of writing. It's just that uh, I, I, you know, like I cross out all the notes. You know, uh, do you do you guys know the? Um, uh, you know, this method of like, you know, when, um, uh, th th this method that basically when you as a, as a, as a, as a person, you know, when you like do something, you know, you just start like, you know, um, you just, you just like cross out, you know, everything and so on. And it's just like, yeah, that's, that's basically my notebook. And you know, like, uh, look, look how much is left, you know, this is basically how much is left, like. Just, I won't show you the page because there are the tasks, but basically this is as much that is left, you know, and to hear my, you know, I'm actual tasks, you know, that I'm doing. And those are all the things that I've done for this game. So, yeah, uh, the, the thing is like, there is this kind of a, there's, it, it is basically a productivity method, you know, for me as a designer. So basically what I do, I note down things, you know, um, and then, uh, when I, when I actually like, I'm done with with it. I actually cross it out. So yeah, um, it basically makes me, you know, feel that I have just, um, you know, achieved something. You know, and um, there is this productivity method. You know, when you as a person who is working on something, you like have like a paper clips, right? And you have like two buckets of like paper clips, and you put one paper clip to another every time when you do something and then one day you start the day with like full buckets of like paper clips at the beginning of the day and your goal is to get all the paper clips to another bucket or another like not bucket another mug uh, basically that's basically what i'm doing like since always i've been a guy that was noting down everything and um crossing it out and i literally started my notebook at the beginning of cyberpunk like literally, the first notes here are literally about me uh, starting to examine the technology, 
slowly thinking about the design, um, doing, you know, the first uh, attempts, you know, of designing the quest system and then scene system for Cyberpunk. Um, and then, you know, working on the, pro the scene, scene, scene prototype. So yeah, that was um, a lot of memories. A lot of, uh, a lot of memories, yeah. Yeah, Sapphire wrote his notebook is mental, stresses me out. I mean, you know, like, why? Why? <laughs> it's, it's, just a, it's just a notebook, but, uh, you know, I'm, uh, I promise I'm not a psycho. Uh, I, I probably every psycho could say that, so, you know. <laughs> even, a sh even a Shirogat would fear Pavo. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> How many eddies for Pavo's notebook? Nah. You know, I was actually talking to Sapphire, you know, that basically my intention is for, like, our next project, like, basically get an Atwood notebook and, like, glue it to the previous one, so it will just become this, like, badass book that I will just have it with me, uh, you know, throughout my whole career. That it, That is at least my goal, you know, and I, when I would be, like, just dying, you know, and, you know, maybe that's soon, and I don't know that, but, you know, who knows? But at the moment when, when, I'll, be, when I'll be dead, I just want uh, to have that notebook, you know? That will be everything that I have achieved, you know, noted down there. So, yeah. I uh, think you guys could give us an option to remove loot icons. Interesting question. Kind of drives me OCD insane having to loot every damn thing uh, after six playthroughs. Huh, that's an interesting That's an interesting question. So I guess you're saying to have an option to filter them, filter them out. Hmm. That's an interesting, uh, interesting request. Uh, Pavel thought I heard your voice work in a quest. Was that you know? I only uh, I only uh, voiced um, sex scenes uh, and prostitutes, and uh, yeah, that's it uh, in this game. So, not not real quest uh, per se. So, uh, don't want to disappoint you. Um, Gonna try and get some sleep. Okay, it'll be quite some time before the convoy comes through. Do you ever complete games in 100% e e earn platinum trophies? No, I never really earn platinum trophies just because I don't have time for it. Uh, but I have, um, but I have definitely, uh, but I always try to finish the games that I start, even though it sometimes takes a lot of time for me. Um, Uh, can, can tell you won't be getting any sleep. Wake me up. Off? Can tell you won't be getting any sleep. Couldn't sleep if you tried, could you? Thank you for all the massive work, Pavo. Uh, thank you so much. I mean, you know, I love I'll what I'm doing. just lie here a while, by your side, gazing at the stars. It's so cool that you can see her that eyes actually, you know, gazing up. Got maps of the heavens in your library, too. Hmm. Of course. That's the Big Dipper. And do you see the small flickering star to the right? Yeah. That's the one, right? You too? Referring to oh dear. That means there's a major leak. <laughs> yeah. Good night, B. It's so cool when she says it. It sounds like a major league, right? Yeah, uh, Ilan adds to the immersion so much. Panam is too beautiful. I can't handle this okay, stream anymore. Is everyone ready? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. Let's ride, V. Okay. Uh, watch carefully the car animations and how they look like crossing the train tracks in general. Yeah, I, I know that. I, I know about it. I hope we can improve such issues in the future patches. Hmm. I, I don't know, uh, but I will I'll definitely have an eye for it. Um, okay, guys. Ready for action? Oh, yeah, I can save right now. Okay, but I'm pretty sure Boise, uh, the quest designer for the quest, uh, saved it for me. Uh, so let's get in. Panam? 
Let's do it. Are we driving? Time to action. I just love the moments, you know, guys, with uh, Nomads. All the moments when we are actually, you know, driving with our cars and uh, with the cars and so on. Get her up to speed. Okay, follow the train. Yep. Train's moving. Let's go. This is just such a fucking awesome moment. Like, when you just go together and this train is, like, there. And, you know, you have your nomads next to you. It just gives you this, like, oh, this so feeling of... Okay. Okay, let's uh, go. Should the train... Uh, I'm trying. I was just trying the wrong one. I was just shooting the wrong one. This is such a fucking amazing moment, guys. You know, like driving together with them and just like, you know, it's, it's awesome. Okay, let's get the drones done. Holy fuck. I almost did that, sort of. No. Okay. Holy hell, guys! I need to, I need to focus because I'm, I'm... Oh, no. Guns jammed. No, 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 no. Yep, let's do it. Leave my Panam. Leave my Panam alone, you bastard. They are beating the shit out of them, by the way. Okay, that dude's punished. Holy hell. Let's just heal. Because uh, we are, the, the goal is we are not getting 100, 100 deaths to this stream. My aim is kind of questionable, guys, you know. My aim, like, I'm, I'm doing just, uh, I'm doing, doing just too much gym. Oh, that's, that's not the guy that I want to kill. And just my hand, my hand is shaking, you know. Okay. Are they all wiped out already? On, their last legs. on the last legs? That's excellent, Panam. This is what I wanted to hear. That burning car in the front of it scared me for a moment. Okay, get in a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Let's check basically the loot. By the way, I was I was surprised, you know, how effective the nomads are like in this combat. God damn it, they like took them down like they were nothing. Oh, uh, just like I'm just I'm just impaired. I'm just impaired. Um, uh, there is a, uh, I see that Mosquito Man redeemed generating ideas. So Mosquito Man, I will actually um, talk to you a bit about something while managing my inventory. So uh, one of the really cool things uh, with generating ideas is um, there's, there's one method that I'm using uh, sometimes that I uh, talk to my designers uh, about to uh, when they're like looking for ideas for requests and so on, how to actually do things. And that idea is that, um, and that, that thing is um, that as a, um, as a dev, I'm very often using this method of uh, actually um, uh, writing down and lining up all the ideas that are like very, very obvious and things that are like absolutely like, you know, the first thing that sort of comes to your mind, you know? So like, if you're looking for an idea for a quest and you're like thinking, okay, how, how is that solution? Does this make sense? Does that make sense? When you're looking for ideas like this, I very often, you know, tell my designers like, okay, write down everything that makes the most sense for you and it's like a first thing that comes to your mind and try not to use that idea. It's actually such an 
I would say, liberating solution. Because then when, as a, uh, you know, uh, as a developer, you know, when you're like actually trying out um, and like trying to find, you know, some solutions and so on, it just gives you so much information uh, and just gives you so much like power. And I would say um, just opens the doors you would never really look behind uh, if the, you know, uh, if you wouldn't have before written down like all the ideas that are, I would say are, like very obvious and simple and like first things that come to your mind, you know. Um, so I really, really encourage you to, to try this because this actually is very, sometimes it's really, really, um, you know, uh, sometimes it's actually really surprising uh, how you can um, see basically uh, yourself, you know, improving because you were just using, oof, can we actually upgrade this? baby okay we did upgrade and then i'll look into lazy uh so gary guys i really encourage you to try this uh method it actually is a really soup it actually works surprisingly uh well uh to be completely honest with you um let me just check actually because we have some available perks we are going into the technical ability right yep because that means that we can do this and we can craft epic items. Hmm. Okay, I'll do that. Now, looking into this, I... Hmm. Le let me just take a look. What do we have here? Because uh -huh. this is... Oof! Uh, it's a pity I just uploaded, up updated that one. But yeah, I guess... I think we are going to craft this one. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Uh, exactly. Um, that's exactly what uh, I wanted. So, yeah. We have our insane Overwatch. Um, can we use... Yes, we, we actually got the mod. Yeah, because we I think we have the crafting perk that, is, that allows us to uh, replace it. Hmm, interesting. Prospector. Uncommon Prospector. Hmm, okay then. I think I'll just go into... Um... Hmm. Hmm. Anyhow, let's go that. Um... Okay, uh, I will, for now, I'll just uh, focus for now on playing. Uh, <laughs> who's I made it? Hmm. <laughs> Do it, yeah, exactly. Yes, go for it, Paolo, yeah, exactly. Uh, hmm. Any plans to make it possible to get all skill points or respect them? Yeah, I think we were talking about it on the stream that it's not that possible because I, I guess you were just uh, uh, you were just referring to respecting the, also the attributes, I guess, right? Um, to get all the all the points and so on. Um, so I, I really um, can't uh, share here uh, much more with you uh, right now. I'll save the game, uh, guys, just to be sure uh, that we have. Oh, right. I should go on the passenger side. Look at the weather, by the way. Yeah. You're talking about the heavy clouds. Yeah. The uh, the weather, weather uh, I guess you were referring to the, the weather system update okay, from the go. from 1.3. What's the death counter today? There's zero today, my friend. F5, for God's sake. I mean, I have saved my friend in a old-fashioned way. So, I did I did save the game. But thank you guys for, uh, you know, helping out. Oh, I love... It <laughs> it's just so I awesome. It, just as I said it would. Yeah. Okay, let's escort the trucks. We got this, How's guys. There, did you have fun? Sure did. Just be happy you won't be around to put the hunk of junk together. The real <laughs> fun is just starting for Mitch and Teddy. Oh, yeah. Can you guys see it? Our fantastic panther. Our basilisk. 
Grandpa Cassidy is so cool. <laughs> Mitch is all excited. Yeah, exactly. About this, like it's uh, the, the, the like moments like that, you know, when you can actually like see them in action and so on. You know, nomads like driving and like There's delivering those things and so on. It's cool. Suits finally realized someone was listening and changed the codes. Okay. <laughs> Perfect timing, if you ask me. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, seen some da data mining. Was it ever a version of the game where Judy or Panam dies? Oof, I've seen that, and I, I think even like um, Tyler was asking about it like last stream. And I mentioned to you guys that in very very early version there might have been a uh, uh, discussion regarding the Panam. I don't really record anything like this regarding Judy, uh, to be completely honest with you. Um, so I I don't think so. Um, but again, like uh, there was multiple different. I would say story versions that existed of each of these quests because that's normal thing you know when we create we always you know iterate and improve and so on so uh b b just to be sure that you know we will give you guys like the best possible version so it begins. oh holy shit you know that's that's the moment guys of the confrontation holy hell what's the meaning of this exactly what you see the basilisk. All I see is two trucks with giant Militech logos on them. Fuck, Pan Am, you can see them from miles away. You think we don't have problems enough on our hands? Oh, the Raffins could rear their heads at any moment. And now we have Militech to worry about, too. Stop it! Fuck! <laughs> Just shut up already! Do you want to serve corporations forever? There's like... Fine! Go right ahead! So many people pointed out that, that case, that's the moment the when they've fallen in love into Pan Am. family used to be. Or you know what? Maybe next time we're attacked, we'll be able to fight back! As soon as I'm done with Biotechnica, we call a family meeting to discuss this. Discuss you. Until that time, I want these trucks out of my sight. And the Basilisk? Can we put it together? Do what you want. Just get out of my sight. Yeah, so we can see Bob, that he's Nick, actually... You two take the trucks around back. We need to unload. He, you actually oh, see that, you know, oh, he wow, is pleased, idea. actually, that Basilisk arrived. It's just, there was just this conflict, you know, some lungs you got. Got quite a pair of lungs there. Thanks. Yeah, that well, mocap acting, yeah, absolutely. Like it's just like, that scene is awesome. Seems but you can see, like, the you. whole scene is completely mo you know, to just allow this kind of a performance. And it's, uh, it, it, you know, it requires a lot of planning, you know, because you can see how many different things had to come together to just, like, have this really uh, goosebump moment, you know, for Panam. And you can see how she's growing, right? She's becoming more powerful. She's more confident in what she's doing, what she's saying, and so on. And you can see this increase you know this gradual improvement you know this growth in her as a character um and this is something that we call in the storytelling we call it an arc you know it's a story arc everything all right everything okay yes of course <laughs> though the great train robbery bit of this was much more enjoyable the texture quality is on medium no the texture quality is on high my friend like i can see this i can see the suing on her jacket like, are you are you uh, re uh, for real with the texture quality being low? Like, I can see the freckles on her face. Are you sure? <laughs> because I don't, it doesn't really look like a low. I, I I can't zoom when I'm in the dialogue, so uh, that's the reason why I just had to like zoom one. V. Um. Okay, let's go with Family's the normal line. With you on this, I think. Sure. Where did you get that impression? All I heard was silence. Saw him looking at that basilisk, drooling. Nomads, panzers, panzers, nomads. Had him from the start. Yeah. We'll see. Yeah. It's actually a really cool moment, you know, because, like, when actually, um, okay, behind the scenes story bar uh, by Armful. Armful. Jesus, I didn't want to draw a gun. What's uh, gotten sorry, into sorry. you? That's okay. <laughs> That's okay, Pan. I'm, I'm not 
saying anything stupid. Uh, but basically, just a behind behind the scenes story, uh, guys. So when Philip Weber, when he was actually designing like part of the storyline for Nomads, that was uh, later taken over by by Boazier Augustinek and uh, a few other designers. Really? But uh, Philip, when he was like laying the ground, you know, for the Nomad storyline, one of the things that Philip really wanted to do here was to reach out to uh, Cyberpunk 2020 and ask or, uh, ask himself a question who the nomads were, you know? And then there's this um, important, like I would say, chapter in their history called the Panzer Boys, right? The fact that in the long, in the, in the past, you know, when the families were great um, on the Badlands, they had the Panzers. And That's the God. Panzers were in a way connected to their identity as a, as a nation, sort of as a group. That's why, you know, when we were working on it early with Philip, there was a decision, okay, let's try to actually make the Panzer. Because as you guys know, the Panzer actually required the Basilisk. It required so much work. Like there's so much work from the gameplay team, from art team, from cinematic team, from UI team, actually to make that whole Panzer look and feel great. But we, we really wanted to give you that storyline to uh, show you the nomads, the way how they actually were. And I, I think partially, you know, that decision that we're reaching out to the roots of uh, the lore is the reason why the nomad storyline feels so good. You need me again. All you gotta do is call. V. I'm sure I will. So you better expect that call. Be waiting. Take care. Cool. So, how are you guys feeling? Panzer Boys Lori. Oh, yeah. Oh, and then there is Arashi. Arashi, uh, thank you so much for coming in uh, and uh, for subbing, actually. So, guys, Arashi is our uh, gameplay uh, designer. Uh, thank you so much, Arashi. Arashi is the one who's uh, who is doing a lot of work for the patches you guys got uh, for 1.3 and a lot of stuff, uh, you know, that you have seen there, uh, especially like regarding rebalance, RPG uh, team and so on. So um, thank you, Arashi, for being here. Um, Arashi is badass, uh, by the way. Uh, Arashi has joined us when she was a junior. I think that was true, Arashi, right? A um, few years back, and yeah, she has grown, you know, from junior to to specialist in our in our RPG gameplay RPG team. So uh, a pleasure to have you. I started as an intern. Oh, that's cool. So you have started even earlier, you know. Um, so uh, great, uh, great Arashi, uh, and uh, you know, congratulations on your progress, actually. Uh, so, uh, guys, I think that what we're going to do, we are going to look a bit more into what's actually happening in the Badlands um, now to just have a bit more action, um, I would say. And then, you know, uh, we will see. Maybe, you know, maybe actually um, Panam will, will call. Um, <laughs> yeah, hello, Arashi. Arashi is asking how we are doing. We are doing, I think, yeah, decently. Yeah, okay. I have just managed to get the, the get the panzer, so pretty important step. What if? Nah, idiot move. Okay. Um, yeah, it's just it, it's a cool moment, you know, like when you when you when you can see, you know, the 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 nomad family actually living, you know, together. And sometimes they even play in double guitars. I, I remember, like, I think Tyler uh, pointed it out last, last sprint. Fire and might. Uh, Tyler, if you want to ask the question, yeah, just 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 go on with it and, and Takarashi. And in case if, if if we cannot answer, then we simply won't, you know? So uh, I guess uh, that's the situation. That's this that's the situation. Oh, and uh, and we have also Stealth Spill uh, on the chat. Stealth Spill is the quest designer in our team. Uh, Stealth Spill is Despina. Uh, the, and Despina also uh, started actually as an intern uh, in our company and has grown already. Um, so uh, has grown already to to, to junior position. It has been uh, and has been doing pretty awesome stuff for you guys for quite some time now. Um, Okay, guys. I think that I am going to I am going to look at the minimap now because uh, yeah, I remember like we intended to after doing this quest uh, here on the camp, we intended to actually move towards uh, this part here. So um, there is uh, this assault going on. Yeah, that's the Colby I can buy. Um, 
So I guess I'll go through this uh, part and, you know, start going through this, um, start growing through this. Uh, oh God, that's the, you know, that's like, that's like, you know, real world GPS, you know, leads me completely around. Um, and I will just start going, you know, through that uh, content uh, and uh, cleaning up this, this part. Uh, the only thing I wanted to do, I just want to call my bike. Cause I'm not sure where is it. Um, Arch, come over. Come over, Arch. 33 meters away. Okay, it's nice. Aha. Thanks. Thank you. Um. Okay. Let's go to this uh, uh, area. Wait, I'm going completely wrong direction. I'll just go through the bushes directly at the place. Buy a new car? I mean, oh god. <laughs> okay, we will. I'm going to buy a new car when I have a bit more money because, like, you know, I'm a bit too poor. Look at this. I'm not like you guys that that you know um, that uh, I'm using all the exploits and so on to get more money. So you know, you bad people. Um, I'm playing properly. Okay, let's see. Let's see what happens. Okay. Okay, what is going on there? There is the there's the right rate sign there, by the way. Not so sure I should be here. Oh I think I know what that is. Okay. <laughs> Cypher 366, I love Cyberpunk. I'm so glad that you said it. Um, I, I do love Cyberpunk too, um, have to say. Okay, let me just uh, get my gun. Do you usually start your Mondays at work? When do you usually start? Uh, at, uh, you know, I usually work from between 8 and 9, um, uh, you know, uh, at the morning. So something like this. But, it's, um, but normally I, I do work, uh, you know, I, I do work pretty late. Uh, especially like on the stuff uh, topics related to my team like you know feedbacks and so on things that you know I want my because I, I just want to make sure uh, that I'm taking good care of my team you know so uh, it just depends like my day is normally like divided into parts when um, I'm working on a specific topics uh, so okay Hmm. Guys, I'll stealth playthrough uh, today. Holy shit! That was that was not too stealthy. Finally, Holy action. fuck! They literally killed me with uh, just uh, with just like looking at me. No, 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 no. Wow. Okay. <laughs> cool. Uh, cool. 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 Uh, cool. Uh, have you made storyboards for Cyberpunk? Yes, we have done actually storyboards for Cyberpunk. Uh, wow, Pablo Sasco. We have done actually storyboards for Cyberpunk. Um, uh, yeah, I, I guess want to utilize that fast load features feature. Uh, um, we have done the storyboards for Cyberpunk. Uh, we were always uh, using them in situations when those are like I. Fuck. <laughs> when this was like when those are like more, I would say. Um, difficult uh, scenes or more complex scenes or situations in that cases we have actually utilized uh, use of the storyboards um, and um fuck um and I think it's a, it's in general it's a it's a proper way really to go with it because like you cannot really like afford drawing storyboards for all the all the uh, I would say whole content uh that you are uh, making uh, for the game because that is pretty much impossible. Okay, guys, Stealthy Pavo is approaching, you know, um, now in the fucking bushes. And then I'll shoot, shoot this person ahead. They cannot see me, I'm so stealthy. Look at this. Look at that, guys. Using the cover, do you guys, do you guys like it? That's, that's the way how you use the cover. 
complete uh, presenting ex exhibit number one. You bastard. Come on. Oh, I of course missed. Why my hands are so shaky right now? I mean, not right now, like today in general. Okay, that worked. Crouching tiger, hidden dragon. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you know, me and my uh, my um, trustworthy Overwatch. Excellent. Uh, managed to do that. Cool. You bad people. Bad people. No more killing all the caddos in the um, on the badlands. Okay. Hmm. Pavochita. <laughs> yeah. Archived conversation. Let's check out this story that is here. Let's see. Brandon is talking to Dave. Uh, you say something about my meeting? What meeting? So you don't know? No idea what you're talking about. So I don't do know the office is a shit show right now. Reading through all employee emails right now. Shit, mine too? What'd you do? Met with Manuel Mendoza. Fuck, what was... Fuck, that was you? You are a fucking mind? Uh, listen, listen. You were in there in a the town. You didn't see it. You didn't see all the bodies. Corp put my life on the line. I lost my fucking arm because of Koch. Fuck, Jim. I'm not gonna say it was you or this shit will be on me too. Sure, coward. Not like I'm coming back. I'm out. Where? Fuck you. Okay, well, you know, we can see that there probably, uh, you know, there was this um, person that, um, you know, escaped here and made, you know, a small cool camp. You can see the papers, you know, that this, this person was burning. It's such a, like, a awesome, very small, you know, piece of the storytelling, of, like, narrative storytelling um, and environmental storytelling in general. Um, you know, you can see that this guy probably arrived with this, like, old car here. So, it's a, it's a cool, it's always a cool moment. Oh, cool. The cool music playing. Okay, guys. Uh, that's the fast travel. That's not what I want. That's the reported crime. Holy fuck, that is absolutely odd way to drive. Uh, I'll just uh, drive the way I want it. Okay, let's try this one. This one is gonna be really awkward to drive here. <laughs> I'm go I'm going to be like a just uh, like a nightmare on the road. Yoo-hoo! Like that sand, by the way, on, on the under the tires. Oh god. Some some small uh, some small hitch, but I think we're good. I'm just I'm just driving like an absolute nightmare, guys. Uh, you know, right now. <laughs> I see you have also adopted the Skyrim way. Yeah, yeah, the the the, the Skyrim way of playing the content. By the way, uh, I remember like when we were designing, you know the the badlands in general and there was like so many discussions regarding like okay you know how we want to make the you know the overview like the horizon look like uh, you know in uh, badlands and i remember there was this proposal uh, from our concept artists to use this like rotating fans you can see them here you know um to just give uh you know badlands this like unique look and make it like that they basically dominate uh, this small place here uh, this sorry this place uh, here um, when you're like as a player going over you know that whole huh going over the badlands and so on you can actually see the um, 
you know, you can you can very easily like recognize, you know, the place where you are and so on. So awesome. You know, the way how the uh, Badlands look like. Okay, guys, there's a reported crime. Um, okay, um, let's check out what happened then. Okay. Hmm. Harry talks to Jim. Miltech must have done some sort of update. Either way, lost my access to their weather system. And if I uh, lose my access, a lot of other people lose theirs. Got it. Uh, I need access to accuracy predict sandstorms. Uh, your rates, after all. Uh, fucking right. Okay, uh, just let me go the things uh, um, and I will own my way. Uh, okay, waiting. Uh, how's it going? Uh, you do your thing? Still on my way. Call you in an hour. Uh, okay, and be careful. Might be uh, male tech patrols nearby. Uh, climb that turbine. Hack where you gotta hack and bast your ass out there. Yeah, I know what to do. Uh, sure. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh, well, uh, Harry? Uh, did it work? Yeah, I guess that Jim didn't really, uh... Uh, I, I, I guess Jim didn't really, you know. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the rainbow for no reason. I, I wanted to give it a bit of a vibe, you know, guys, to just, you know, give it a bit of a flair. Um, that was... Yeah, that was a sad end. I know, I know, I know that was a sad end. I agree. Uh, okay, um, the, uh, uh, come here because I don't remember where, where the film set is. I don't remember where film set is. Was it, like, here? Mm, that's Miltech. <laughs> but maybe someone should test this out. And let me know. Oh, we have Mike speaking. Mm. Let's uh, go then. Because uh, I don't remember... Interesting piece of storytelling. I don't remember where that car is. That, uh, yes, the Maxim mic, yeah. Okay, that is not it. Let's cat jam and let's get the car uh, that Camille uh, Cesar is talking about. I think it's gonna be cool. Like, uh, so uh, sh I should go like straight north, right? So I'm going. Was it here? I think it was here straight, right? Well, let me. But that's my vehicle, right? It was it here? I think. Yeah, go north, right? Yeah, my movie set car, exactly. Because the movie set car was here, right? Like, I, 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 oh, was it here? Was it here? Hmm. Since you are the creator of No Fly 3, I have a report of Half-Life 3 releasing this week. I have the first legit good news about Half-Life 3 in three years. Do you, want you to, uh, do you want to watch it early? I mean, you know, I will watch it together with everyone. But, you know, if you have some good news, that sounds, that sounds really cool, you know? The car is in the map, Camille Cesaro. The car is in the map? Wait, what? That's that's the Jackie's bike, right? That's the Cheyenne. That's not this one. That's the Bandit, right? That's the Quarter Thor uh, Thornton Mule. That's not this one. That's the Colby Brute. That's the one that you guys were talking about. Nah. Yeah. Really. Really. So, you're saying that it's this one? Okay, let's, I, I'll just go north. Because I really, you know, I have never been there actually myself in a game. Um, I only saw the, like, a player's recordings from this. So, I'll just, let's get it. Let's check that out. Finally, he found it. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see if I, if I actually have found it. Okay, I'll just stick to the stick to the street because I'm just driving my 
you know, uh, a, 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 a fort on Colby, uh, which is, you know, not the best, uh, I would say, steering model and so on. There's a comment, it was funnier when people made the wrong choice regarding Angel and Sky. I mean, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm, I'm conflicted on this, you know? Like, I don't think that people that made the wrong, cho wrong choice really felt it the way you say it, you know? Yeah, it was funny. Yeah, I just re I remember that. I, that was... That was hilarious. Okay. Hmm. Oh, I think that that's the case. Wow. Oh, and the trauma AV just left. Okay. Holy hell. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'll just get this. Hmm, not feeling too well, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's the, um... Yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Like, I actually know this one, uh, but I didn't, uh... But I've never been here, never played it. It's actually so funny because that that was implemented by one of our like open world designer, uh, Machi. Uh, Machi is uh, one of our specialists. He's with a company since like uh, he was in QA in Witcher Three, I remember. A uh, really good guy, uh, really good designer, and uh, yeah, like a lot of open world content has been done by him. And I remember Machi doing this. Okay, that's the car. That looks. That Thornton looks pretty fucking sexy, guys. That's nice. Oh, look at that, you know. Look at this. Look at this. What would you like to see on the PlayStation Showcase? Oh, I think, like, I would probably like the most uh, to check the, uh, you know, uh, to see Horizon, if they have anything new about the Horizon, uh, actually. So, um, yeah. There's a question if I see that big crane. Yes, this one behind me? Yes, I do see the big crane. Today's stream is an overview of cars in Cyberpunk? Nah. I mean, we'll be go there, go to the crane. Okay, uh, let's let's try, it. let's try it, guys. Let's try it. How the fuck I should get there? I'll just I'll just drive like an absolute uh, pineapple and go straight. Uh, <laughs> How I should get to this to the crane guys? There is a canyon on the way. There's a canyon in the way. So I don't think I will be able to get there. Holy hell. This poor canyon. But yeah, I mean, I I, I think soon uh, soon we'll we'll finish, uh, you know, the. Wow. Okay. That is. <laughs> that is interesting. That's the blood buff. That's the blood buff thing. Wow. Okay. Holy fuck. I like the, the fact that the LODs are like loading like that. I'm like, what is going on here? What is going on here? <laughs> I'm actually curious, like, because uh, we did it again. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't really know actually who implement this, um, who, have, who has implemented this uh, one. Oh, I looked at that. Oh, well. Progression in athletics, guys. Capacity booster to the cast in Hell of Hell Lake, Hell Lake 3. I actually don't really know who did that. I think it might have been open world. To the cast and crew of the Hell Lake 3. 
It is with profound it is with profound sadness that I inform you that 24 frames per second studios renowned for the uh, renowned for the productions such as Your Whisper Ice Cream Corpse Mountain 1 and 2 <laughs> Reservation for Revenge and Hell Lake 1 and 2 is suspending all operations effective immediately so sad uh, the reason for this difficult decision was the withdrawal of our largest sponsor uh, constitutional arms Unfortunately, this means we're halting the production of Hell Lake 3, and due to our current financial enough, um, insolvency, all salaries have been suspended until further notice. All property of 24 FPS, such as cinematography equipment, scenery, must remain on set. When possible, I will re I'll arrange to have it transported. All I can ask you now is to keep your chins up and stay the wonderful. Okay? creative people that you are will get through this kind fraser president of 24 frames per second <laughs> that's awesome yeah if uh, tyler mentioned that he's working on his mod list um so that sounds that sounds really uh really intriguing uh, i have to say um okay guys i think that we have made it um time to like this is so Real so uh fucking cool by the way. Like just this whole uh just this whole location and just this whole place. Holy hell. <laughs> but anyway, that that is that is really funny. That is actually really funny. And those like disappearing cubes just make me crack. <laughs> this is like so funny. And yeah, the you, you can see those like yeah <laughs> those buddies oh god okay guys um that was that was a fucking cool moment uh, i have to say uh okay uh let's just leave this let's just leave this and i need to focus now on doing some content finally finally doing some content uh so uh, let's call our uh i will now actually yeah i got my cool b uh i will go to get my Maybe this time around, let's use the uh, Scorpio. So I'll I'll call. What? It arrived. Okay. Cool. That was not exactly what I meant. Uh, but hell, uh, hey, you know, I take it. I take it. Can I actually get get on this bike and? Oh, because it's it's suspended. And I won't be able to travel. That is so bad. Okay. Uh, that w that is very unfortunate when it happens. Yeah. But we we know about the topic um, about this specific issue that happens sometimes like this. Okay. Let's go uh, then to the my uh, shoot it now. Nah, if I would if I would shoot it, it would explode. So you know. Um, Our new levitation bike prototype, yeah, absolutely, you know. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I ignored it because, like, wh what I'm supposed to do with it, you know. I will just call it when I will, um, you know, I will... Wait, is that... Am I going... Yes, I am going the right direction. It's just showing me... It's just showing me the troll way, uh, basically. But, yeah, I will go like this. Um, yeah, it's just, like, when I, when I call it, it will arrive. So, it's all fine, uh, you know. It's just, yeah... Watch out for mines. Uh, do you think that there's many mines there? I am not planning to hit any mines, my friend. Holy fuck, that looks like mines. Jesus. Okay, I'll just stick to the road then. Stick to the road. Okay, we've been we've been passing by uh, through this spot. Famous last words. <laughs> Okay, what's going on there? Hmm. This is fairly close, right? Huh. Okay, guys, let's save the game. Let's save the game. I need coffee? No worries. We'll just, uh, you know, um, crank up the, the speed of the playthrough, you know? 
<laughs> Will there be a plus one to the counter? Um, not planning to. Not planning to, my friend. Uh, let me just uh, look at my... Yes, exactly, because... Uh, are we guys going into the um, artisan? It's like six more. This is like a lot. Holy hell. Hmm. Let me actually just check now the reflexes. Maybe it's worth actually investing here. This is a quick melee. Yeah. This is this is speed to, hmm, damage to movie enemies. Oh, interesting. Okay. I think I'm just gonna then go into this one. Uh-huh. And then, in general, probably go into... Uh, into reflexes right now. We'll see how it goes. Uh, yes, and I just wanted to check, actually, my inventory. Um, because um, maybe I actually got some better stuff. Uh, because, like, literally this cup is uh, apparently really good. Um, yeah, I really like this one, so I'm not changing it. Is that one better? Hmm. Hmm. Apparently is, but... Okay, that's a full body thing. We'll keep that. Uh, I'll actually dismantle some of those uh, pieces. Uh, there are flying cars, but are there Hoover cars, bikes, and boards actually in the official lore? I don't think so. No, I, I don't think so, uh, actually. At least I do not remember them being there in the official lore. Um, I'll just dismantle some of this, uh, some of those things because I really don't need it. Um, oh, look at that about shoes. Excellent. Even better shoes. Excellent. All of those I can actually dismantle. Okay, cool. Um, let's just disassemble them. Uh, I think I find that better. Um, okay, you know, our V is uh, presenting herself pretty damn cool. You know, a anyhow, uh, let's let's go. Uh, I would pay fifty dollars for transmog system. Yeah, we we know you guys want the transmog system. We we know like so many players actually mentioned that. When you hear voices that Cyberpunk cannot be repaired and the game will probably be abandoned, do you feel more sad about such opinions or rather they make you want to prove people wrong? Oh, man, like all the negative opinions about this game make me want to prove people wrong. So that's basically the, um, uh, the, besides like I'm seeing already like new games be being released and already they are being, and already people are comparing things to Cyberpunk because that's the thing, you know, next games like next open world RPGs or RPGs or games, you know, with a, with a plot, you know, a, a plot being like an important part of the game will start coming out and you'll see people comparing it to Cyberpunk and realizing, you know, a bit more what the game is. So, uh, you know, uh, just uh, uh, fire prematurely. I promise that never happens to me. Um, okay. Um, I will just save the game. Okay. I cannot save the game now. Okay. That was a moving enemy. I did more damage to him. That's nice. Uh, um. Oh, God. Okay. Hello, guys. Overwatch 100%. Yep. That was not a nice headshot. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best. Hostile area, no shit. I mean, kinda. They, they kinda looked hostile. Um, let me. Hmm. What you were guys doing here with this satellite? You nasty people in the military gear. Curious if that's actually really military. Or they were just playing dirty. Let me just check them. Oh, uh, yeah, they were looking poor. They, they were, they were uh, again uh, watching some porn. Uh, very typical. Not surprised at all. Happy components and rare components. Okay. Well, you know, I guess their crime was that they were trying to, you know, uh, uh, get the satellite. Maybe they tried to use the, you know, uh, they tried to make the Disney Plus work, you know, without the VPN or something. 
Um, you know, I'm in the country that doesn't have the Disney Plus, so I know something about it. So, yep, yeah, well, they were punished, you know. You shouldn't be doing this, guys. Uh, just a, a fair warning. Um, getting to my bike. Can you get your Nomad vehicle from Alana Pierce? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do that. We'll do that. How do developers and designers deal with negative aspects of cyberpunk dystopian world? I mean, how do you get in the mindset um, to create morally gray stuff in your video games? Huh. I mean, it, it all comes in with a, with just a lot of like experience and training. I would say, even though it may sound like... Uh, wait, I cannot select you. I can select you. Okay. Um, even though it may sound strange, but it's just basically... Um, it, it comes in time, you know, of you training and it doesn't really like come in with even with like only like negative aspects but it's more about like when you're like creating something for a world that is like very specific and it has its own nuances and like i would say um nooks and crannies uh you start slowly as a designer in time learning and understanding you know how to do it like to follow the uh, the rules of the world you know so for instance one of the rules in this world is that when people want to like deal with something they do not try to like organize it on their own they in most cases contact fixer and fixers have contacts you know to mercenaries and all that um and they basically just sort of like function on the edge of the i would say um on the edge of the uh, law um on the border of the law sort of so this these people you know in that case you know fixers organize that and just make sure you know that uh you will have your thing taken care of so in a way it's just it's just it's just the amount of training you know of like getting into the character getting into the different different lore and so on and just uh, remembering uh, about that and it's not easy actually because like a lot of the games you can actually you can actually even check it that a lot of games has really amazing lore an amazing background but then when i'm actually playing that game i really don't see that the game is fo following its own lore sometimes and like some ideas are like just the usual you know how the um how you know how you would handle a similar situation or problem in a real world um rather than actually um you know, making it um, work Here. in that specific... She said she can feel me. Um, in this specific world and situation, you know? And it's uh, it's an important thing for the creator to... To understand, you know? Um, that that's basically your... Tool set, you know? That's basically the, your uh, way of working. Did you guys see that uh, I almost eliminated all of them without making them aware? Okay, guys. Oh yeah, Street Cred 42, oh yes, I'm kind of known, I'll also turn off your radio as a punishment, the fuck happened to you, Jesus, you guys shouldn't be doing this, ha, look at this, they were just illegally burning grass here, you know, that's the whole thing, you know, Huh. The, um, six streets. Hmm, what you were guys doing here? What you were guys doing? Okay, skill shard, cool. Archive, archive conversation. Let's check out what has happened here. Uh, Shun Okada talks to Ekio Chiba. Ekio, you need to take out some of that rates. Uh, guy's name is Steve Razor Kowalski. It's a message, so make it look ugly. Need them to blow their top. Most importantly, make it look like it was Sixth Street. We want to start a war between them? Dope. Yeah. 
Anyway, you guys can see that they are, they were doing, you know, I'm still carrying too much. God damn it. Uh, you can see that they were doing some nasty things here, you know, pretending to be somebody else and all that. Uh, not nice, not nice, you know. It's, uh, uh, it's, it's also like a really cool element of like, I would say, interaction between like different uh, gangs and whatnot. Um, you know, when you will see them actually do that kind of stuff, you know, uh, so really like just go into, um, and, and like try to, you know, frame other gangs, uh, into actually, you know, let's say attacking, you know, others and whatnot. Uh, it's so, it's so cool, you know, because th that basically shows you as a, as a player, like a semi-natural, you know, like interaction of those groups in the world. Which I think is really cool and uh, and something, I think something that you wouldn't normally see, you know. Uh, oof, God, they have such a high requirement. God damn it. Okay, those I can actually disassemble. Hmm. And they're all lower than mine, so I can disassemble this stuff. I really don't want to. Hmm. Okay, let's go into these glasses. Oh, that glasses look nice. Um, I'm just uh, utilizing my, uh, you know, all my disassemble perks. Uh, thanks to that. Um, I can also like, oof. Illuminated, ice protected, techy outset. Ocu, ocu set, oof. Nice. Look at that. I hear with this new cyberware they are coming up with in Chiba, they're gonna be able to cram your body with more options than the freaking Zerade Aerodyne. Lost guy in here, he wanted me to build him a cyber hand that had a built in a frag. You don't know to. <laughs> you don't want to know. People want the weirdest stuff these days. If you can get parts, I can fix it. Count on it, Chumba. Mr. Ice, head of design techniques ENC. Yeah, you can see that. It's just, you know, with like a um, sort of a recommendation from a chef himself. Uh, I guess all of them are actually much worse than the one that I just got. Yeah. Gives me quite a bit of armor and uh, oxygen. I'll keep this one. Um, I have those suits, but I really don't need the hazmat suit, guys, right? Um, Ice Ice Baby. <laughs> yeah. Is your own personal opinion? Do you, uh, in your own personal opinion, do you enjoy your uh, Polish or English voice in The Witcher? Uh, I mean, honestly, Tyler, I think that the voice acting in general is a bit better in English. However, I have to admit that in Witcher, Polish writing is probably a bit better. So in that case, uh, that would just influence my answer. You know, I would probably like play um, Cyberpunk in English. But in Polish, I would. Pr uh, but in a Witcher, I would probably go with the Polish version. Um, do you like Henry Cavill as Geralt? Oh yeah, yeah. I actually, I actually think Henry Cavill did a really, really decent job. You know, um, as um, as Geralt. There was a lot of people that were saying at the beginning that you know he, he you know he's too pretty and you know he doesn't fit and whatnot. But you know, like you can see that Henry is a fan uh, of the games. And he was just doing everything he could to just like make that, uh, oops, to just like make that, um, uh, you know, to, to make his role, to play his role as best as he could. Okay, oh, that's a cyber psycho. God hey, damn it. Raffins are hunting someone in the Badlands. The word psycho's been mentioned. Check it out. Uh, okay. If it is a cyber psycho, don't kill him. At least try not to. I have people who can get him into experimental therapy. And therapy doesn't work on the dead. Sending you the details. Oof. Okay. 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 Uh, Regina, I mean, you should you should like mention this like a bit before before I actually killed like seven of them. But okay. Apparently, it's some fresh fanatic converting ruffins into pretty gruesome way. Watch your back. He might have military training. Witnesses claim they saw a silent old man wandering the badlands, leaving a trail of bodies behind him. Holy hell! That is... That sounds intense. That sounds intense. 
Yeah, Cavill was completely inspired by Witcher 3. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, Henry was never really hiding the fact that, oh, yeah, you guys have that Hoover car uh, here on display. Uh, Henry wasn't ever hiding the fact that he was, like, heavily inspired by, by Witcher. Cause of death. Wound from a sniper caliber round. Holy fuck, there is, like, a sniper here. Okay, that's just a car. Okay, there are other clues here. For when I can see them on the minimap. Tire tracks. Okay. It's like a... Oh, so he drove like a truck here? Traces left by a person running. Huh. Deceased Raffenshev. Cause of death... Wound from a sniper caliber round. Okay, so the story was there's like two people that came from this. Uh, but this is a Raid's car. Okay, let's just rob that person. I mean, he, he won't use that ammo anyway. Um, wait, okay, let me follow this trail. Um, oh, hello, alternate cyborg. Uh, good to see you here actually on the stream. Uh, I totally alternate cyborg is Dilara. Uh, Dilara is our graphic designer. Um, 100 per 100, here we come. No cogito, no trolling. I'm literally like trying to survive. <laughs> uh, yes, queen. <laughs> yes, Dilara. Traces left by a person running. Okay. Holy fuck. That, guys, this is so intense. This is so intense. Okay. Cause of death, wound from a caliber snap. God damn it. So many people died here. It's good that I'm here to just like, you know, punish them. Fresh trucks from a pickup truck. Okay, is that burning car... Related in any way? Could be, right? Yeah, I think it might be. Oh, something here. Okay, tire trucks. Okay, so this guy drove in here. Okay, is that that car that is just burning? Thornton Colby. I hope it's not my car who exploded. But by the way, here you just have in the display like the way how you can build a story using clues, you know? So like basically just a um, simple thing that player like scans and so on and checks. Okay, I found like a camp. Simple thing that player like, you know, can follow the clues and like scan and build that story, you know, slowly from all that uh, clues. And this is something, like, I've been talking to you guys about that, like, I think in the past a bit about um, the fact that this is how we as a designers are, uh, you know, um, building, you know, we were building stories in the, um, in, you know, in the Witcher 3. And, and here's just kind of some kind of like a progression. Whoa! Neutralize the threat. Oh shit, somebody shoots at me. Painting. The creature depicted in the painting resembles iconography commonly associated with the voodoo boys. Wait, what? So is that the voodoo boy? Is that the voodoo boy? You bastard. What's wrong with you, Pavo? I was curious about the clue. I was curious about the clue, right? Careful of the mine. I mean... You know, what? Wait, what? Oh, wait, I didn't save? Or where? Where? Wait. Where am I now? No, I did scan the clues here. Right. I did move through here. Right. Yes. Yes, I scanned that. Okay. I need to, uh, uh, you know, go closer and save to the save um, the game. Okay. Ceased. Hmm. Ninety-five. <laughs> guys are trolls. You guys are trolls. Okay. Yeah. The burning car and the rock. Okay. 
Okay, the burning car and the rock and the dude is there. Okay, save the game. Holy hell. No, that's not that rock. Jesus, it was a different rock, okay. Cool, but it's this one. Okay. Okay, let's scan this clue. Okay, cool. Archive conversation between Kong Lucas and Joel Lee. What's up? Heard uh, there's an alarm or something. A fucker ripped my fucking arm off. You're gonna mince that fucker with a machete. Chum, you gotta chill. Not like you won't get a sweet chrome arm always. And you won't get a sweet chrome cock. You want your scrap the whole fucking Badlands. Find a motherfucker and fuck him up. Yeah, sure, we'll find him. Through he was some harmless nut job. More like a fucking raging psycho. Saying some shit about how the law needs sacrifices to get him to the sacred place. All right, we'll get him on the ground in a second. Chop fucking chop before he builds a freaking church on up there. Okay, well, I suspect that um, didn't work out. Fuck! Jesus. Okay. It's good that this car is here. You bastard. <laughs> Fucking smoke, I can see shit. Wow, it's just like a standoff, uh, standoff of a... I'm just doing him like nothing when it comes to damage. Wow, okay. And now I'm burning. Uh, excellent. Holy fuck, they intentionally put, like, no rocks here, so I can't hide. You motherfucker. You motherfucker. Okay, I'm just, like, tickling him. Like, I'm just, I'm literally, like, tickling him. Come on. Okay, now this Zion Wade. Okay, Zion. Okay, Zion. You bastard. Whoa, he went down. Okay, cool. You know, I mean, uh, it's, uh, that was unexpected. Yeah, yeah, V, change that clip. Change that clip. Okay. What the heck is going on? He's just like, uh, I think he has like incinerating ammo or something. He puts my ass on fire. Okay, guys. Like, I'm just, you know, um, j I'm just deadly focused. Oh, fuck. That, that bastard is actually pretty good. Like, he hurt my gun. Okay, Zion, I think it's your last moment. You're on the last legs, bro. Where the fuck are you? Wait, what, what, what? Hello, Zion. Oh, he went up? Oh, holy shit. Okay. Zion. Wow, okay. That dude is insane. Like, I love the fact, you know, that some of them, like, have the, uh, you know, have the double jump and so on, so he, he can, on his own, get there, too. Better oh, yes! Sense. Oh, yes. I managed to defeat him. Moxie Pistol's one of the best. Yeah, I agree. I really like that, the, uh, the Lizzie. I absolutely agree with you. So guys, what? Disappointed that they didn't die? Um, <laughs> disappointed? Yeah. What? Holy fuck. I just escaped with my ass. 
Okay. I want to go there. Because, uh, you know, me as a, as a player, when I think that he was there, I think there, there is loot. <laughs> watch out, mines there. Watch out going up the ladder. There's mines up there. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. It, it feels like playing Better Dark Souls. So Better not miss anything. Okay. Not going to miss anything. You motherfuckers. Like, this... Okay. The guys here really like mines, you know? Uh, by the way, the, the, the cyber psychos, uh, the cyber psycho quests have been implemented by quest designers. That's why they are uh, by, by quest designers. They, they have been implemented uh, with the feeling of a, that those are like more of a quests rather than the open world content. That's why, you know, they have slightly different feel. That's why you have this like build up with a clues and so on. So um, they, they are a bit different in style, but that was our intention, you know, to give you guys something slightly different and something that ties up together as one story. You know, um, as with, um, holy hell, I heard the mine. What the fuck? Fuck. Okay. Uh, I get you. Yeah. Nope. Jesus. This is terrible. This is terrible. Where the hell are those mines? Okay. Okay. I'm surviving. I'm surviving. Uh, guys, we need to solve the problem there. What the actual fuck? What maniac? Oh, right, because he can jump and I can't. You motherfucker. Okay, I get you. Jesus. Okay. One mine eliminated. I think there's another one, right? Yeah, there is. Okay. Fuck, the laser is just... Ha! T check this out! Check this out. Done. You know, um... Man managed to outs outsmart him. Holy hell. Okay. Good. 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 All good. Hello, bro. Okay. He's alive, I guess. So, I have seen the light. Okay. What kind of light you have seen, dude? I know many of my old brothers in arms wander my life, let wander this life aimlessly, living hand to mouth while their souls slowly disintegrate with apathy. That is why I'm writing this to provide reassurance your purpose is right in front of you you haven't perceived it yet today i went through a difficult test but i came out alive and now my life makes sense again it's all started with a job from voodoo boys seemed straightforward at first but it all dog looks like it's an easy as aiming and pulling the trigger I did a quick recon and that same day confirmed mission completion. That then something strange happened instead of receiving my payment. An oversend light filled my vision and before me appeared the guardian of the border between the living and the dead. To my friends who live in destruction, do not lose hope. The day will come when you will be put to the test and give a second chance as I have. Do not waste the opportunity. Once more we will fight side by side. I am now opening the path to the sacred land with sacrifices to the law gods. Join me. I do this convincing though. I mean honestly. Um, anyway, guys, uh, let's uh, go. Um, um, uh, uh, message Regina. Okay, right, right, right. Because we need to send, send her deets regarding uh, stuff. Um, okay, open messages. Uh, Regina, where are you? Actually, let's look at her. Mm hmm. 
Okay, House on the Hill. Oh, there's a bunch of actually those that I didn't send yet. Holy hell. Hello. Um, okay, so let's just send all of them. Pavo Sasko is more. With this voice acting, Pavo could replace Angel in Clouds. Uh, I mean, you're, you're, you know, uh, you're way too uh, um, kind, I say. Purgong was so afraid someone would zero him. He turned his house into a death trap. Too bad his family happened to walk into it. Went completely unhinged after it happened. Good thing is I got him first before he could off himself. Uh, yeah, okay, so that's the one that we did uh, last time. Oh, can I reply? No, I can't. No, okay. Um, so with this we replied, uh, apparently it's some fresh fanatic converting Raffens, exactly, so that's the why we just did. Managed to incapacitate our guy, name is Zion Wild. Had some burned out military grade combat implants, plucked his victims from Raffenship so that Loa Gods would open up his passage to the sacred realm. Looked up Zion Wild and dug up a list of military ops he could, took part on before dropping off the radar. Only time he pops up getting caught urinating on City Hall. <laughs> Eventually he ended up somewhere in Pacifica doing odd jobs for old war buddies. This conversion must have happened recently. Yeah, it's really cool that like all those cyber cycles have those stories. Like um, it, it was uh, Philip Weber and like few designers in my team, like Moritz, Ero, uh, Stoyan, who like together worked today together um, on those, and I'm I'm uh, I'm really proud of what the guys did. Uh, considering you know that those those things are fairly small, right? So they had a fairly like I would say limited budget and time to really do it. So that's that's really inspiring to see that they were able to like build something like this. Great, appreciate the heads up. Corps don't like getting their hands dirty with people living on a corp level, but when a dealer mixes glitter and coal dust or some other shit, they get eddy signs in their eyes. The money still lands in their pockets and another bunch of city undescribed fades from the streets forever. Win-win. Okay, uh, guys, we actually, we actually have a bunch of... Um, oh, there are some messages. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. This we checked. Are there any messages from people cars from sale okay cool dakota jesus dakota is selling a lot of stuff oh yeah that's the that's the bandit one mm. nice hmm okay this is i think pretty clear um okay guys uh we, the only thing we need to do we need to pack up pick up the jackets because we didn't do that um but you know in time this will happen uh cyber psycho house on a hill okay um i think what i'm going to do i will now uh go to this reported crime and just you know we'll we'll do the swipe over this bottom part uh part of the badlands i think it's gonna be awesome i kind of i really like doing this um it's it's also like you know guys what's really fun in that purse uh in 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 that uh in that part is like when i'm playing uh, this kind of content i i really don't know it because that content has been done by uh, our open world team so it's like um instead of outside of cyber cycles right uh, they were <laughs> they were done by the quest designers uh, but outside of cyber cycles i don't really know um uh, this uh uh, this content, so it's really fun for me to play it, you know. I only know those uh, those that were like neatly connected to quest, uh, to um, to you know, to what we did in the quests and so on. So um, that's why a lot of it is just new for me. This is one of my favorite songs on the uh, you know, Principalis. Thank you so much, guys. You know, thank you, Riffy, for subbing. Actually, like, I see that from time to time some of you guys sub. This is uh, amazing. Thank you so much. Woohoo! This is, this is cool. I will just check what's going on here. I will just check because there are some people here. Oh, those are not people, those are androids. Okay. Oh, that was one android. Clinical. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, why? But I didn't do anything. 
No, no, no. I need to loot that com that components, and I'm go. I'm going to get hell hell out of here. No, 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 Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> I have been, um, I have been uh, punished uh, for, but who did I, what did I do? Like, is that okay because they were not attacking me ba first, I guess? Should I, like, aggro them first not to be, um, not to be killed? O honestly, I, no, I was not doing anything bad. You guys are terrible. Jesus, why they attack me? Uh, there's a question whether my name is Pavanuk Pavel. Uh, you know, it's actually uh, it, it's actually um, interesting question. Uh, you discriminated androids. I'm offended. <laughs> yeah, I, I clearly I have clearly like done done bad for androids. So, um, so but I'm sorry, Dilara, for doing for for doing this. Uh, you know. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I don't know what I did, you know, to just like aggro them. Holy hell. They were like ruthless. Like what? Wait, wait. Hey, hello. Okay, I, I, you know, you guys look, uh... Oh, there's no android this time? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, because I think it's a different patrol, actually. Patrol. Uh, than before. Uh, there's a question why I actually have, um... Pavel, Pavel instead of Pavel. It's it's actually a funny story that I was already like, I think telling you guys in the past uh, and mentioned that that actually when I was like setting up my Twitter account, you know, uh, the Twitter I, I didn't realize that the Twitter eat up L because it couldn't take it and just left Pavel instead of Pavel. So then I was like, uh, okay, you know what? I'll just keep Pavel as I have it, and then just for the consistency reasons, I just. Uh, you know, uh, left Pave uh, on my um, on my Twitch, uh, just not to change it. You know, so I'm fine with Pave. Actually, it's even for for some uh, for some people, it's even easier to say it. So I'm like, ah, eh, whatever. You know, until you guys know uh, can recognize me, I'm I'm fine. Panam has messaged me. Hey V, thanks again for having my back. Lately, I feel I'm just running and raging, so I just want to make sure I know I appreciate what you did for me. Ah, oh, shit, that came out of too formal. You you know what I meant. Uh, it's okay, I get it. How's it going with Sol? Uh, cool, don't worry about it. Uh, how's the pacer, pa pacer uh, shaping up? Um, Let's ask about Sol. Not sure if she... Okay. Hard to tell, I'm trying to stay out of this way. I'll be in touch soon. Okay. Uh, she has Panam. Panam messaged me. <laughs> what is this song? Ah, that's the one. Minero. Mucho, mucho, mucho minero. You can, guys, sing with me. Mucho, mucho dinero. Mucho. Sorry, I need to stop the song, but you know, guys, uh, who I found. I found the uh, the boys that killed me before. Oh, shit. Okay, so it doesn't really like when I touch those guys, so whatever. See you. <laughs> nope. I'm going. I'm going away. No. This is police. This is police that be lit. Eh? Oh, is it, is it? Oh, so I'm shooting the police. Oh, holy shit. Okay. So that makes a lot of sense. Uh, no. That was not the really intentional. I mean, uh, noise. Yeah. Uh, thanks. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, yeah. You know. Um, <laughs> that was not really uh, intentional. Fucking gog. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the fucking gog. Yeah, you're right. Actually, this is police that build it. Holy hell. 
I just like by some reason I was sure that it's like military. So I started shooting them and I'm like, that makes absolute sense why now they just like, uh, wait, why they wanted to shoot me. You know, sorry guy, I, I'm a potato. I play like a potato. Okay. The fuck? Okay, let's, let's, uh, let's try to, uh, 98 down, thousand, <laughs> thousands more to go. <laughs> well, I mean, before we have 100% uh, cyberpunk, uh, definitely. But, uh, hmm. Okay, guys, so now the deal is I'm, do I'm doing just, um, I'm, I'm doing the, uh, the stealth uh, approach. Okay, the stealth, the stealth approach. How to do this in stealth? Okay, there's a dude there. Here. And they're okay, no. Enemy contact! I'm in good! Terrorist attack! Okay, hey guys, uh, uh, how my stealth is? How how I'm? Uh, how is my stealth going so far? Oh, holy fuck! He's like targeting me through that thing. No, no, no. Okay. Oh, archive conversation. Sharp uh, Sokol patrol. Oh, so that's Sokol. Sokol California Border Patrol. Caught her. Okay, make it quick and clean. You went pretty far. She would have escaped otherwise. Be right there. Oof. Okay. Some nasty shit went down here. Finish this. Okay. I was shooting the balls. Wow. Okay. Uh, I, I think uh, he must have like a panzer balls when I shoot it. Like literally the car exploded. Couldn't take it. You know. Okay. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Um What happened here? Hmm. Okay. Fuck, that's the person I think they were referring to. I'll loot your ass for the punishment. Saratoga, okay. Why are guys are always wearing such a uh, crap equipment? Those are some explosive balls. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can pierce through objects with sniper. Um, I think I knew that, uh, but I, when I tried it multiple times, because like there are some objects I think uh, through which you cannot. I, and then you know when I fight, I'm never really 100% sure if it will work. You know, uh, like through smaller uh, smaller objects for sure. Uh, but I but I uh, never really know like if I can actually go through this or not. So. Quiet as a mouse with grenades. Yeah, I mean, it's just like, uh, I just love my, my playstyle. Um, okay, guys, let's check it out. Archive conversation between Madison and Dakota. Still got them on my tail. Can I get some air support? Drone or, or something. Sorry, I can't. A sandstorm's ahead. What do you mean you can't? Well... Right for you. Fuck you! Shit. Try to hide in a storm. So come I drop it. Fucking hell. Sand again. Hello? I'm here. Car died on me. The filters? No clue. I'm gonna run for it. Dakota? Yeah. Could be bad. Understood. Sending the coordinates. Left the car there. Thanks. I can't get out of this, deliver the stop in the envelope. Of course. You know what to do. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah, I guess it fucking didn't work out. Did it? <laughs> Mr. Daftfire. <laughs> that's literally like that's literally like the best comment in the whole fucking stream. Uh Danny Hokey 92, Mr. Daftfire. <laughs> 
I just realized something. What were those NCPD from earlier during during hanging out there in the Badlands? I actually don't know. Uh, you know, I, su I suspect that uh, the way it works is like NCPD has a patrols along the main roads, and because we were by the road, that's why they were uh, they were there. Uh, but I'm not so sure. Uh, actually, maybe that was a reaction to what what we have done with the, um, you know, with stealing the, uh, um, you know, the convoy and so on, because that might have been this too. So. Uh, th like uh, the world in cyberpunk like rea reacts in a bunch of ways that sometimes is not that easy to to tell uh, without playing like multiple times the game uh, and I'm not really sure um, in that case you know because as I said like that's something that our open world team was primarily implementing so um, uh, they uh, must could have employed something like this uh, it's possible. How do you think stealth would be in the Witcher game? <laughs> oh, uh, did you play Witcher 2? Because Witcher 2 actually has like a stealth elements or stealth moments. Like for instance, in the prologue, when you're like sneaking out uh, and so on, uh, there, there are moments and like, I would say mechanics, you know, uh, that's sort of like, oh, there is a new job that popped up after I've done the previous ones. Hmm, that's cool. I'll actually go there. Um, so, uh, Basically, if you like look into Witcher 2 and so on, I think it's a pretty good answer how we think the stealth could look like in the Witcher game. So yeah, <laughs> Tyler wrote, Witcher 2 stealth sucks, lol, just kill everyone. <laughs> well, you know, uh, it, it wasn't definitely like the core uh, component, but I, I was more referring to like the mechanics. <laughs> Not like I would say, you know, how useful it was. But yeah, it wasn't like it wasn't like too shiny. I agree with you, Tyler. Okay, there's something going on there, guys. Let's go. Go to the abandoned car. Okay. <laughs> Sapphire wrote that she's just playing Witcher 2 right now and kills everything. Best route. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, okay, guys, I'm checking now. Basically, this content here, what is going on? Okay. Hmm. I'm just checking, like, are there any fucking mines? Because there's, like, a lot of sand here. Which is actually pretty cool to have, like, a, this a bit more sandy spot. Okay, they were, like, trying to fucking hide the car here. Or maybe it was stuck during, like, snowstorm or something. Okay, just a vest and some euro dollars. Mm, okay. Oh, I'm caring too much. Okay. Uh, so I guess they were like smuggling shit. Um, oh, that vest is better, but not much better. So I'm not switching to it. Nah, this is just way too little to sacrifice my fantastic, uh, sexy look. I really like these jackets, by the way. It's so cool. Um, this one. Like... Like I love the new jackets that we added, but this one, this one, this jacket uh, is really cool. However, like I, I think probably the best one is this yellow cyberpunk jacket that you can find in the game. It's like I mean the best being like from the perspective of like um, you know somebody who just uh, you know loves like you know cool clothing and design and so on. So <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll just I'll I'll, ju I'll, I'll just go ahead and dismantle those. I really want to be using them anyway. Um, they're way too. They're way too low armor uh, in comparison to what I'm actually wearing. Yeah. This one too. <laughs> if you only had transmog power, wing wing. Yeah. Oh, new trousers. Okay. 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 Looking okay. I mean, hmm. 40. Sorry. So, what? So that's 47 armor, guys. And this one is 44. Now nah, I'm gonna stick with this one. I'm gonna stick with this one. Um, I'm, I'm just like, you know, th uh, through, through cyberpunk. So, uh, you know, not gonna wear uh, something that doesn't look good. Oh, do, will I? Yeah, I think I got the mods back, by the way. This is already modded. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
this is fine. Uh, let me really quickly check the shoes. Uh, what's going on here? Actually, my shoes are just crap. Okay, just, uh, uh, whatever. Works with this one, has bigger armor, uh, higher armor. Yeah, this one I just recycle. Okay, uh, guys, let's save. You know, we've got some experience in crafting, which is fantastic. Um, so let's go. Um, fashion over survivability. <laughs> That's precisely my style, my friend. It's precisely, basically, my style. Uh, that's precisely my style. Um, yeah, okay. Let's grab my bike and uh, drive to the next one uh, when we are just enjoying the time on Nomads. If you upgrade something, does it say you go from a gray item to green and so forth? I don't really know. Actually, like, I cannot really answer too many questions regarding crafting per se, uh, because I've been not working on it, so um, I unfortunately cannot offer you too much uh, here. Yeah. It's basic. It's police is, ri is guarding that route. I'm not really sure, like, probably something happened here. It's, yeah, Camila, I see your, your comment that it's impossible to tell me how to get there. Yeah, it's, it's fine. I won't be checking every single fan, you know, uh, on the stream. I mean, it's okay. Uh, I, I think the core is that we will just, you know, uh, visit the most important elements. So let's see the reported crime there. Okay, I, it feels like I broke my bike. No, I didn't. Okay, that's good. Whoops, I need to dismount. Let's see. Okay. There's some bad people by one of the fans. <laughs> Camille is such a spammer. Uh, you know, I mean, I'm glad that Camille is like sharing different things. So that's always great. You know, uh, that you guys are uh, talking about it. Um, Rhiannon8992 uh, wrote, For me, the best outfit is the default that V wears with the Johnny Samuel jacket. I immediately fell in love with that outfit in your trailers. There's a possibility to bring back the old female V from 2018 version. She was incredibly well done. Um, we know you guys want it. Okay, uh, let's leave it at this. Uh, I don't want to comment too much on this. But yeah, I absolutely, we are absolutely aware you guys want, uh, want the, the old V back. Mitch Anderson wrote to me, V, how's it going? How's it doing? Before you ask, things um, aren't too great over here. Sal's always giving Panam shit like there's no tomorrow. I try to stare out of it, keep calm, fix the basilics. That's my newest motto. It's going to be beautiful when it's finished. Even if we all go down for this, it was worth it. If anything notable happens, I'll be the first to let you know. Okay, bro. It's nice. Mitch is nice. And you know, guys, like, I really like the fact, like, the way how we follow up on those, like, different stories and so on like this, uh, with the, you know, with the text messages being, like, sent sort of, like, in between, uh, you know, different, um, um... Uh, in between like different you know storylines and so on to give you this continuity of like the characters and so on uh thank you colon crash uh, for the sub hello long time new see power hello uh it's great that you're uh coming over um we move forward with the game quite a bit i think uh why can't we reply to him bro um, i guess the designer that was planning this out didn't assume um that it would be needed like i think that's the answer which you know as a player if you feel that you should you probably should so that's basically on us like we just didn't you know we didn't do it well enough um but you know i'll have that i'll have that in mind holy fuck he's like tough as hell okay guys wait what is going on there okay Oof. Okay, um, you know, uh, it just, uh, here we go. <laughs> so, we are at the death of number what? Like, like, we are 99 or something right now? Oh, holy shit. Holy shit, okay. 
Okay, if I'm going to die, no. I was not planning to hit 100 deaths in this stream. I was not planning to, to, to do it. Okay, let's, let's, let's try. Let's try to do it as well as I can. What I can figure out here. What I can figure out. Okay, there's a dude that is moving. Okay. <laughs> so guys, you know, uh, we can celebrate 100 deaths, you know, uh, in a stream, you know, I, I think now uh, the goal is going to be uh, 1000, you know, <laughs> to just move forward. Anyway, um, not, uh, you know, not, not, that was, wow, Cogito. <laughs> So much for thank you so much for gifting subs to the channel. Uh, you really like I mean I I appreciate it guys uh, so much. It's like so fun to actually play with you. Um, I I'm not sure actually what I will do when I will run out of the games that I made myself you know to play with you. So after like playing whole Cyberpunk and then uh, you know whole Witcher uh, and then all the expansions, but I I think you know if we add Witcher. Uh, if I will start uh, Witcher uh, after doing the, the Cyberpunk, it may take some time. So, you know, uh, Road to 200, yeah. <laughs> Holy hell, you know, that was, you know, yeah. I think one of, I think one of these dudes who are just cooking here is, is the reason why I died, you know. Holy hell. <laughs> well, you know, okay. Okay, you can see the Milita here, and you can see some older cars. Hmm. Right. What is going on here? And they had the fucking barbecue here and drinks? Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, thank you again, uh, Kugito, so much for, for all the subs uh, gifted to the channel. You're, like, insane. Uh, I think you're, like... Conductor of a hype train or something, <laughs> I think, or however it's called, you know. <laughs> but uh, but uh, thank you so much uh, for this. I appreciate it. Okay, guys, um, let's let's move on. Uh, we have another. We have we trying to learn the story. What has actually happened here? Um, so let me look into that archived conversation. Uh, that's a conversation between Jack and Dennis. Oh, uh, let's meet Jack. Let's just get out of here. The usual place. Hang on, gonna make a call. I miss you, I can't stand it. Okay, let's meet. Take all your stuff. Uh, all right. I think it was just like a meeting spot of like two boys. Two dudes that liked each other. Poor people. Unfortunately, you know, and uh, yeah. I uh, suspect that not, you know, not many good things happened to them. Well, you know, I'm, I'm glad we have punished the people that were, uh, uh, that were good. <laughs> it was my fault. Dennis totally trolled me. Uh, yeah. Yeah, self-spell, yeah. Roommates, exactly, just a tent mates, you know. Just, um, they had their own, like, you know, little tent and played here, you know, and had barbecue and, you know, had a half a hamburger, hamburger together, you know. So... But yeah, unfortunately, you know, you can see that the that the Miltech was on the case. Uh, well, maybe they maybe they have stolen something, you know, because there's you know look at how much stuff they have, right? So something there was a reason uh, why they did it. Yeah, and you can see they blow up their their yeah they blow up their um, car and so on. So yeah, and another one. Okay, guys, um, I think we will move on to a next spot. Oh, there's the gecko. Hmm, 21,000. My medical products? No, I'm fine. Okay, I'm not going to buy more cars for now. I'm just, um, I'm just way too poor. And um, maybe like on next stream, we'll start from like visiting some reapers and so on. Gecko's nice. Yeah, I know. I know gecko's cool. Um, okay, guys, let's get the, um, let's get my, my, what? Um, let's get my bike. Uh, 46 meters away? Where are you? Oh, here you are. 
Okay. Cool. Uh, guys, so I'm... Oh, wait. There's loot that I didn't grab. That I just saw on a minimap. Um... I'm just like a maniac that has to like loot everything. Uh, where are you? Uh, you. Uh, where are you? Is there something hidden here? Hmm. Hmm. Okay, here's the chest. Oh, cool. I got the bandages. That's perfect. That's exactly what I was missing. Um. Uh, Papa is officially a hoarder. Yeah, I've ever been. You know, I have ever been a hoarder. So, you know, uh, like, I think it was next to this one here. Oh, I was, that was this person here. Ah, uh, right, because the dude. Okay, good. Good that we have it, uh, because that dude uh, got shocked by me. Uh, why didn't you just translate basilisk into basilisk in Polish? Huh, good question, you know. Uh, I actually don't know, like, um, did, this is the, this is more of a question to our writers, really, like, why they really wanted to go like this with, because, like, I, I think, um, <laughs> loot rumba, yeah, absolutely. I, I think in cases of, like, weapons and so on, we haven't been doing this, so, like, as a part of equipment, it, like, falls into this category, um, so, like, I don't know, Achilles, the weapon, and so on, those haven't been translated, too, so I think maybe that's the, uh, that's the reason. That's cool, this, this spot here. Oh, that's the gecko that I can buy? That looks, that looks cool, that looks awesome. Okay, uh, for now, I'll just stick to my, uh, free gear, and at some point, Jesus, I drove all that cactus. At some point, I'll, uh, buy it. That's Kobe? That was the, that was Kobe? What was that? That's Tolton Gorilla and Galena Gecko, guys. What are you talking about? I was right. I was right. Okay. I'll sell you for scrap. Okay, uh, cool, cool. Uh, let me just uh, uh let me just uh do you know some uh some of my famous, um, you know, tricks and uh, uh, go, go get away. Okay, you bastards! I'll punish you for this. They tried to shoot me. What the heck? Wait, did I? Right, because I officially arrived, so it, like un un unselected. Um, that's a sturdy tent. Yeah, exactly. It's it's a cyberpunk tent, man. It's a cyberpunk tent, I tell you that, you know? Um... Eh? Okay, that person is gone. Uh, at least, uh, from what I'm seeing. That guy too. And that guy too. So fucking bored. And got that person too. <laughs> so what, guys? That was impressive, right? <laughs> it's so cool that you can open them up actually and just like see the engines and so on how they're made at least they are listening to cool music you know okay let's look at this ah let's uh oh i got the cold blood level too cool and let's check this, uh, let's check the shard. Wait, what? Why? Um, oh, because I had the shortcut for it. Mm, da, 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 da. Yes, I, I, I see now, I see now. Um, I want to go to shards. Um, those two, that, that was not it. That, those, those were not those. World, oh God, like there's so much reading guys. So much reading. Um, articles. I don't know which one that was. I was not an article for sure. That was it. Get to work, gongs. All the cutters are up to something. Hanging around the station. Gonna have some job brewing. I wanna see what is it. See if you can make some ads of it. 
you you all go there and keep tabs on the situation. Once you figure out what's wrong, give me a ring, okay? Okay. Ha, huh, interesting. So that was a outpost that we just li uh, removed, like liquid liquidated. Liquidated? Yeah, like I think. Oh, oh and I got another archer conversation. Dylan. Dylan Connell and Mandy Patrick. Do you copy? Do you copy? What's the password? Birds fly in flocks. Error, error, incorrect password. The fuck you say? Said it's the wrong fucking password. You either know how to play or you don't. You either know the pass or you don't. And if you don't know the pass, don't even start. All right, all right, whatever. The Aldecados are coming. Finally. How long is Chum gotta wait? <laughs> You can see that they were um, here uh, having some fun, you know? <laughs> you can see that they were here sub having some fun. I'm just, um, just uh, going over my uh, gear. Because I, again, hoarded so much stuff. Like, I, I think I should probably slowly stop... Okay. Stop gathering all that... Um, all that white stuff, uh, specifically. You know, just the, just the commons are... <laughs> oh, Wojna Polsko-Ruska. Yeah. <laughs> Easter egg for Wojna Polsko-Ruska. Absolutely. Exactly. I don't know if you guys read it. Uh, it's, um, you know, uh, I think it was, it's Manuela Gretkowska, right? She's the, she's the author? I believe so. Um, Wojna Polsko-Ruska pod flagą biało czerwoną That's the full title, as far as I remember. Uh, like the scene with vomiting the... Um, um, uh, the the scene with vomiting the, the the stones is is one that like terrified me. I remember that. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just uh, I'm just a bit distracted now, but I'm back to uh, my duty. Uh, yes, I need to clean this, and I need to clean this, and I need to leave the iconics in, in the stash finally. Remove this. Yeah, I'm just getting rid of the, all the, all those. I won't use them anyway. Um. Hmm. Okay, the grad I can remove too. This I won't use. Huh? That Lexington. But then, but that Lexington is anyway weaker than my. Yeah. I'll just keep it in case. Yeah, I just keep it in case. Um. Let me just check. Oof. I can actually upgrade my... Wow! Okay, that gun is going to be insane. Well, you know, that was like five upgrades or something. But that's because I'm just hoarding shit, guys. You know, that's the, uh, specifically the reason. Uh, why are there some green loot here? Okay, the Omaha. Cool. Um... Uh, okay, um, I think now, where was my back here? Lost. Free the hair, we never see to a beautiful work except of the very beginning when you pointed it out. Uh, you are talking like, you're talking about, you're talking about this, right? Like, uh, just, just, you know, the, my, my fantastic, my fantastic hairstyle. It's like one of my, my favorite hairstyle in the game. You guys see it? You know? Let's feel it, you know? Let's bounce it. Okay, um... Let's... <laughs> I'll go to the another one. So this is a fast travel. Okay. So we are going here, I think, because we are cleaning up this, this bottom part uh, of the map. I just can't like I I just I just don't uh, know like how people manage to like some people manage to like in like I don't know 30 40 hours finish cyberpunk it's just like so insane to me like there's so much stuff here all the time so like I I suspect that people were like whoops that was not intentional I suspect that people did nothing of like side content but um, that's just not the way you play right no, 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 no. Don't want to go over the stones. Would be nice if the Night City would have some barber saloons. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I agree.
someone from CDPR keeps sending me Cyberpunk Cola. Is that you? I uh, didn't do it, uh, Tyler, I promise. Uh, so, you know. I finished first playthrough for 100% for in about 60 hours? Really? How did you do it, though? Because, like, I'm now streaming, like, this is our stream number 17, right? And each stream is four hours. So I'm, at this point, like, easily 100-something. And, right? Am I correct? 40... No, well, not, not exactly. Like, I think I'm, I'm 80 right now, and I'm like... It, it looks like I, it'll take me, like, 300 to finish the game. Like, I don't know how you can have 100%. It. Like, I mean, unless, of course, you know, you're, like, you're, like, super efficient and so on. But as you can see, like, I'm reading everything, you know, and... Wow, this is cool. Okay. Okay, that is a pretty interesting spot, I have to say. Holy hell, guys. Look what we found. <laughs> yeah, Tyler said I have 250 hours, so I haven't seen everything. Yeah, I agree. Like, it, it is really difficult to, like really like get to know the game in like 60 hours i mean oh of course you know like that's that's you know your call and you know you're the player if that's uh you know if that works for you then sure like um it's just like it's it's super hard like i remember like every open world game that i played it took me hundreds of hours because just to explore everything especially like you know because i'm not just running around and doing nothing i'm just like going you know like just going over the story content all the time, right? Like stuff that was like handcrafted and implemented by, you know, by, by my team, by open world team and so on. Look how much stuff there is. Like outside of just the, uh, look uh, outside of just the main story, right? Um, cause I'm not even mentioning the main story because we are like nowhere there. Uh, but, um, just side content right now. But yeah, anyway, uh, I mean, I, I guess, you know, some players are, like, super fast in, like, and efficient in playing. And I guess if you just die less than me, then probably you also, like... Holy hell, this drone... Oh, I managed to kill it. Yeah, this, uh, this gun is fucking amazing. Suspicious activity detected. <laughs> no shit. Corporation forces are under attack. Corporation forces are under attack. What a mess! Oh, holy hell, he escaped. He escaped. Leave me alone! Fire! Fire! Holy hell. Check mine. <laughs> oh, hello. Can I loot you? Yes, I can. Epic components. That's excellent because this is exactly Oh! And the and that person escaped that person managed to run away. Holy hell, what is going on? Okay, V, let's reload the gun. <laughs> he just like peeked. Okay. Kyla Mattis. Okay, Kyla. Uh, I hope you're fine. I hope you're fine. You know, I just came to, you know, to be nice to you. So don't, you know. I just uh, saved you from bad people, you know. Uh, Pinky Julian will just hit 1000 hours today. 90% of it spent uh, uh, staring at Mitch. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad that you really like the character. You know, that's important. That's, your, that's important. Like, one thing that I really like in our games, you know, and in the, in the ways we are making the games, is, like, the fact that, as, like, different types of players can actually find really different things and can find, like, um, different things to like uh, in our games. Uh, like sometimes it's a character sometimes it's a music sometimes it's a gun sometimes it's i don't know monty's blade you know so a certain play style you know um sometimes those are like side stories or quests you know or art itself um 
So it's like so cool because like because game like contains like so much different things, so many different things. Um, as a player, you can like you can like like it for so many different things. Okay, there's like this luggage here. I think that person was here with it. I guess was it? Because that person clearly ran away. I think she was like kept here. Oh, escaped completely. Okay, against her will. Will. <laughs> Staring sometimes at Panam's ass. <laughs> yeah. uh, you know, there's as I said, you know, as a, as, a, as a player, there's there's a lot of different things for anybody, so for for everyone, you know. So, you know, when people like uh, Mitch, when people, some people will like uh, Panam. It's the way to loot everywhere. Yeah. Um, so, uh, Tyler wrote Adam said Adam Kaczynski said multiple times that CDPR will continue to work on cyberpunk not for military reasons but to regain players trust what does this mean to you hmm. really cool question you know like one thing that happened you know when um, when you know when the game was released and so on a lot of people like started playing the game and so on uh, partially because uh, they trusted us um, after, you know, they played The Witcher 3, you know, they knew basically uh, what kind of games we we're making. And even though, w w you know, we were showing and saying that Cyberpunk is a completely different game done differently and so on. But even um, even then, um, you know, there were certain qualities that we wanted to like have per uh, haven't perceive uh, in our games. And I think that um, to regain players trust is really like go back to these qualities and make sure that we are always delivering. On those qualities you know that this is what it means to me you know and on my field to add on my field specifically there's a bunch of things uh to do and to understand you know like specifically like the way how we are doing the choices and consequences you know making sure that there's a bit more of it you know um in the time that we have second thing is making sure that um those the consequences when they happen they're actually telegraphed well you know to make sure that we are branching our stories you know uh, well enough uh to make sure that in places when some quests maybe had elements of um that they were you know uh maybe not too entertaining you know mm, i would say try to you know rise the quality bar and and make the quests even better you know um it, it's definitely something i'm striving for you know it's just it's not, it's not the most difficult, not the most easy thing to do, you know. Having uh, made already quests for Witcher and Cyberpunk, uh, that's some level, <laughs> I would say, um, to to uh, like overcome, to jump over, you know, uh, to do better. Uh, so, but I will definitely keep doing this, you know. I, I really love that. I really love doing this, and yeah, I, I just want, you know, the players to know that, you know, when they're buying a, our game, like, those certain qualities of our games are always there. You know, this is what it means to me. And and this is what specifically I want to do on my side, you know, as much as I can. Mm, okay, let me just uh, look at this archive conversation. It's Colleen Dodd and George Johnson talking. You there yet? Still on my way. How long do I have to wait? Just be patient. Um, listen, this is the last mission. Last transport. Soon we can leave nice city behind us. Sure hope so. Wait and, waiting in the hideout. What, already? Couldn't stand just sitting at home. Yep, yeah, so you can see, you know, that she was here and probably, you know, didn't manage to to wait so um yeah i guess you know they were moving and uh she didn't uh, she didn't manage to wait for him uh who's doing this last mission i just hope that you know he was he wasn't like one of those dudes that they killed uh because that would be sad um so that would be really sad guys uh, CDP, uh, CP77 is going to be a masterpiece, just a matter of time, it's already in a lot of players' eyes. Yeah, thank you, thank you so much uh, for these words. Like, you know, we are definitely working on it, you know, and uh, we have learned a lot, you know, uh, through while when building this game. It's just hard to even uh, describe and comprehend, you know, how much there is. Yeah, it's I sort of like it sort of like makes me 
realize and I understand why some development studios stick to their guns, quote unquote, and they always just make keep on making the same sort of game over and over and over, you know. And they just keep doing the same thing that they were doing, just you know, just slightly different, but it's pretty much the same. Um, and yeah, I sort of, I sort of understand, you know, why some why some devs uh, decide uh, to to make a move like this. So yeah, I kind of like this bike. I have to say, like I I, I liked. Oh, I'm going with my, with no hat. Um, I like the Jackie's bike, but this one's awesome. Okay, guys, that's Militech, right? That's Militech. We can we we can take care of them. We can take care of them, right? Really, really bad people are here. Oh God, it's already quarter. It's already quarter past eleven. Holy shit, that time went so fast on the stream. Damn, I didn't even realize. Seriously, bro, you guys got me uh, through the pandemic. Thank you for pushing the envelope. You got me back into gaming. Um, thank you so much. And I'm, I'm glad, you know, you are back into gaming. Because, like, there's a lot of, like, really awesome games, you know. Um, coming in. And, like, I, I would say, like, you know... There's at least like a handful, like a, you know, a dozen a year that are really, really worth playing, you know? <laughs> so. Pavel, did you, did you VO some monsters in The Witcher 3? Yes, because I watched uh, again the 10th anniversary video and show and I see you guys made a strange voice. That was, yes, that was me. I, I've uh, did the trolls and ice giant uh, in The Witcher 3. Uh, so that's basically my, uh, you know, a fantastic achievement and uh, a thing that I have, uh, you know, brought into the game in The Witcher 3. Uh, but, you know, I uh, since that time I have up, up my... Oh, guys, look at this again. Um, uh, yoga, um, here we go again. You know, one of those people that just love that kind of shit, you know. Look at this, very popular in Night City. Anyway, so, uh, yeah, but since that time I have just upped up my game a bit and... Um, I've done the, uh, you know, uh, the the sex scenes and prostitutes this time around. So, you know, I'm, I'm developing, you know, I'm just uh, uh, I'm moving forward, I think, with my career. Um, and, you know, I'm officially credited as a, as a voice actor for Cyberpunk uh, for like additional voice acting. So, you know, uh, who knows? Okay. Hey, V, a truck hauling cyberware crashed in the Badlands. It's top grade chrome, but the NCPD's not in much of a hurry. Tells me they suspect the cyber cycle's the cause, and it's got them spooked. Okay. Check it out, but no killing if you can help it. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it, Regina. Okay, guys. Um, we have. Um, sorry. Okay. Uh, I will try to play this cyber cycle, and then we'll wrap it up today. Um. With the free DLCs, expansions, next-gen edition system reworks and patches, and the other stuff that we can't talk about, uh, it will be something everyone uh, everyone will love. Uh, Fallout New Vegas style. Well, you know, we'll, we'll see. We'll see, uh, Tyler. I, I really have a lot of hope, and I have a lot of belief um, that we can improve it further. And you know, I, I think we are. You know, with every patch. Um, and I think there was no shortage of, of patches so far. Um, and we are not... We didn't say the last word yet. As you guys know. Dead body. Unresponsive, no pills. Mutilation from car accident. Then... Exfixation. Oh god, I, uh, I don't know what that means. I'm sorry. Oh, I did I just found Kerenzikov? Cool. And archive conversation. So bright and Emilia Vase lost our transport of parts on the new research center. Sorry guys. Lost our transport of parts for the new research center went missing on Aldecada turf. Our meaning whose? 
meaning uh, biotechnicus. But I'm making some private inquiries at the moment. We work to other where their turf, but that doesn't mean we have to step on each other's toes. Another problem. You're in the Badlands. And out here, you stand to run into all sort of gangs and threats. Maybe you should have chosen a quieter location for that new center. The nature of the research demands this question. We need it done out of the way, as far out the city as possible. If we were to hire someone to track down our cargo, how much would a job like that set us back? Well, considering the apartment value of the cargo, the price would be high. In euro dollars, please, and with a deadline. Like I said, the price would be high, and not just in euro dollars. We can't get just those. We can't get those with any contract out there. So what's your ask? Reverse transp transpiration xerophytes. But they are not ready to be marketed yet. We'll put them on the market. A prototype series. That is, unless you are in no hurry. All right. A small prototype batch, but I can't guarantee they will grow. They are like still in testing phase. They haven't even been planted outside of lab competitions. And what sort of deadline can I count on for recovery of our cargo? I'll start looking once those first buds bloom. Shouldn't be too long after. Okay, guys. Um, uh, I love the moment when Pavel talks serious and another moment voice acting as a woman. Lol. <laughs> yeah, you know what, guys? You know that's that's basically the nature of the of the of the um, stream. You know, one time you're, uh, you're serious and, you know, talking on important topics and another, you're just having fun. I think that's so fine, you know. Blood. B minus. Unknown. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Okay, there's some blood trail. Cyberwood case, high quality cyberwood, biotech sigma, donor and savage. Sabotage, uh, storage of high quality internal organ implants. Holy hell. Okay. Hmm. Blood. Okay, guys, there's there are the blood blood marks. Uh, do you recognize this, by the way, this moment? Like, this is actually, like, I think, the ancestor of The Witcher 3. You know? Sorry, ancestor of Cyberpunk, which, which Witcher 3 is an ancestor of. Like, you can see that, basically, in The Witcher, we have done, um, like, a just, you know, like, a base, sort of, and here we have developed forward, right? And you, you have uh, this kind of stories here in cyberpunk as well right when you're like following clues and so on so you can see like similarities in style in our style in a way um okay i'll just save um okay i just don't want to like walk into fucking mine okay somebody was bleeding badly here that's that's quite far Okay, that person went in here. And the mapping leads me there. Okay, there is like an encampment under the bridge. It seems, guys, we're getting there. Pablo Sasco would make an excellent dandelion. Oh, really? Okay. Oh, God. Uh, that's this one. Okay. Okay, guys, last attempt, uh, last attempt being, like, trying to, trying my, um... Holy fuck, it's that one in the, in the exoskeleton. Okay, bro. 
did I really give him like 3% damage? Holy hell. Okay. Fucking hell. Okay, this, this may take the whole next stream to kill him. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not dying here. Okay, I shot the battery. Fuck! I have shot the battery on his back. Um... Motherfucker. Jesus. He must have had like a, like a metal forehead. It's like the headshots are pretty much doing nothing. Fuck, we need to change the clip. Okay. I'm escaping. Okay, we got the clip. Yes, yes, yes. Change the clip, please. Holy hell. Holy hell, he's powerful. No? Okay, that might be a better option actually for this combat. It's not. Jesus. Motherfucker is like... Whoa! He literally one-shot me. Wow, okay. Oh god, okay. Um, guys, I think that we are going to, uh, we are going to uh, continue, you know, from fighting this, uh, this guy from the next uh, stream already, uh, because uh, it is, uh, it is, it is pretty, uh, it is pretty rad. I, I'm not sure if I'm able to, not sure, sure if I'm able to defeat him. Let's try it, but okay, I literally, I literally did nothing uh, to him. Wait, what? What the fuck? What the fuck? Holy hell. Um, okay. Um, that, that was interesting. Um, holy hell. Okay, guys, I think that would be it for today. Uh, you know, I will, um, I will just um, load the checkpoint and the resave. Just make sure uh, use smart weapon. Yeah, 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 guys. I, I think this is all uh, nice and dandy, and you all have like fa fantastic, uh, you know, uh, suggestions. And I think we are going to do it uh, from the <laughs> from the next <laughs> from the next stream. You know, uh, because honestly. Uh, it's already 11.30, uh, and uh, that was quite a bit of, um, that that took quite a bit of time. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm back with the, uh, I'm, I'm back with just the, you know, YouTube view, sort of. Um, sorry for those that I couldn't, uh, wouldn't be able to answer all the questions for. Uh, there's always just m much more questions than I can answer, so basically next, uh, next time we are, uh, we are going to try to defeat that guy, and then probably uh, move on with a Pan Am storyline. Uh, we'll see, maybe she calls, uh, maybe she calls. Um, uh, oh, uh, there's a question if I watched the TV uh, TV Grimm material, uh, material. No, I actually didn't. Uh, so uh, maybe I'll check it out, but uh, I, I think the thesis of the, of, um, the thesis of the, of the material is that I do not agree with, so yeah. Um, yeah, there's a request from Camille Cesaro for Outsider No More. I actually, I actually think we can. Uh, you know what? And, uh, I will, I will actually already, uh, switch to the Outsider No More because why not? Um, and when the Outsider No More plays out, I'll just give you a bit, uh, make it a bit louder. 
Um, guys, I wanted to thank you all uh, for being here. Uh, we, we should be wrapping it up. I'm trying to stay, stay a start on time and end on time. So, um, I wanted to thank all of you uh, for being here. It was amazing and uh, it, it's really, it's always so much fun uh, when you guys are here. Um, first of all, uh, Sapphire, my girlfriend, uh, thank you so much uh, for being here and modding for us. And Ayano, Ayano, our UR producer, uh, thank you Ayano as well. Um, Ayano is my, my recommended streamers if you want to check her out. Um, now, um, Outside of our mods, we also have our uh, Fantastic Reds. Uh, to, right now, we have Alternate Cyborg, that's Dilara. Uh, Dilara is our uh, graphic designer. You actually can check out her Twitter. Uh, she's posting very often her works and so on. Uh, really interesting things if you're into cyberpunk stuff. Arashi, our uh, gameplay designer uh, here. Arashi was, has been working a lot on the 1.3 uh, patch uh, changes for you guys. Uh, Chivok, our customer uh, support specialist, uh, Chivok is working with me um, very often on like making sure that the things that are reported by the, by the, by the players are actually sent, sent to devs, you know, so that we will uh, take care of the topics. And la last but not least, uh, Stealth Spell. Uh, Stealth Spell is Despina. Uh, Despina is a quest designer in my team. Uh, a person that is working uh, in the studio for quite some time already. Um, and we already have played some quests uh, that Despina made, like Happy Together, for instance. Now, um, I also I also wanted to uh, th thank all other, uh, like I would, I would say YouTubers and streamers that are actually visiting us very often. Uh, there's a Tyler uh, on a stream. Uh, Tyler, as you know, uh, is a YouTuber and a Twitch, a Twitch personality like Tyler has um, made a lot of really awesome uh, like um, cyberpunk videos and materials, so I encourage you to check his channel as well as his stream. Uh, there's also there was also Kazuliski uh, here on the stream. Uh, he has a YouTube channel that you can check out, also with some cool uh, cyberpunk con content. Um, and we have a few other like influencers and, and YouTubers here uh, from time to time. But I um, uh, but I will just mention them at the moment when they uh, when they come over. Uh, at least I, I didn't see today um, other uh, people. So guys, uh, that would be it. Now, one important thing I wanted to mention. Um, the um, one important thing I wanted to mention, like uh, next week, uh, actually, um, Sapphire has her birthday. Um, so I'm going to visit her on the weekend and I will be traveling over the weekend. So I won't be able to stream for you, but I will be here in a week, uh, a week later, basically just uh, in uh, next Sunday, as always, and then we'll see, um, we'll see each other, and we'll continue playing and so on. Uh, Ezio, I see your channel points, but unfortunately, I won't be able to, you know, please remind me basically next time and I'll start from that. Okay, I see that you have storytelling trick reveal. Uh, I'm trying to tell you guys as much as I can. Okay, <laughs> okay. Um, so I will be traveling. I will be traveling over the weekend, and um, that's why I won't be able to stream. But guys, we'll see each other uh, in two weeks from now, and uh, I hope you are going to miss me. Now I'm going to leave you with um, um, another uh, song. Uh, this time I think I'm going to play uh, the Vushudos uh, to to finish uh, the stream on a high note, and we'll see each other in two weeks. Uh, thank you so much, and thank you for all the memes. It was fun, um, and yeah. Take care, we'll see each other in two weeks. Bye-bye.